All right, welcome everybody. All right, guys, let's pray. It took us an hour and a half to get past things. We went live hundreds of times from Zoom yeah, to YouTube. And uh, <laughs> this is the only time it's ever taken us. It just will not work. No matter what we do, every option, we've used every browser, uh, three different types of devices, everything you can think of, every setting, and it's not working. So we want to welcome everybody. Bienvenidos a todos. Estamos tratando de conectarnos y por fin se pudo. Eh, llevamos una hora y media tratándonos de conectar, dándole clic a todo, pues, cambiando aparatos y demás, pero eh, siempre hay una solución. <laughs> Diablo es mentiroso. <laughs> well, we, uh, we pray everybody has their, uh, their Bibles with you. And uh, if you do have your Bible, uh, thank you for joining in with us. Uh, we're going to pray. Gracias quick. por estar este día con nosotros, por estar conectados, y vamos a orar. ¿Me escuchan bien? You guys are hearing clear. Testing, testing. Make sure audio is well. Everybody can hear us. Daniel, we can hear right there. Go over there. Pick this up. All right. Testing, testing, testing. Now, Daniel, move that camera so that they can see it. Everybody, turn it a little bit. All right, gentle, gentle. Turn it a little bit. Yes, it is incredible warfare. Thank y'all so much for being with us. Being you want to get patient. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, Buenas tardes. Hemos estado aquí toda la mañana en guerra espiritual. Como ven, hasta ahora nos hemos podido conectar. Uh, All right, well, let's pray real quick and let's get her in some worship. Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you, Lord God. We give you glory. We yield to you. Thank you, Lord God, for the people that are joining us live. In the name of Jesus, we lift these people up. We ask you, Father God, to touch these people, Lord. We ask right now, make your presence known. Make your presence known to every person in their home in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, we forbid any attack of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Satan, go in Jesus' name from every person listening and from our home as well in the name of Jesus. Let your word go forth and heal every sickness we know that that happened at the cross Jesus is the word and you sent him and you healed all manner of sickness and disease sin and weakness and we agree with your word today that you are, you are here with us and everyone listening you are here with them we worship you and we yield and we submit to you y nos sometemos a ti, Señor and we Padre. command our minds and bodies. Y comandamos ya le, con autoridad a que you nuestra bless mente, the Lord, esté oh my soul, presente. and all that's within me. Can you repeat that? We command our bodies, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Que nuestros yeah. cuerpos y nuestras almas sean bendecidas. All that's within me. Todo lo que está en mí. You bless his name. Yeah. Tú bendice a su nombre. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. En el nombre de Jesús, you. te bendecimos, right, Señor. Worship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Te alabamos, Señor, Rey de Reyes, Padre de Padre, Señor de Te alabamos, Señor. Aquí está. Te adoraré. Te adoraré. Aquí está. Te adoraré, te adoraré, aquí estás, no en mí, te adoraré, te adoraré. Milagroso, abres caminos, tus mesas, mitos, así eres tú. Milagroso, abres caminos, tus promesas, mi Dios, así eres tú. Aquí estás, dando mi corazón, te adoraré, te adoraré. Aquí estás, dando mi corazón, te adoraré, te adoraré. Mom, sing hallelujah one more time and later sing. Hallelujah. 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 Vamos a orar. Allow everybody to join. Y que todos se sigan conectando. Guys, we know one thing right now, okay? Mire, mi gente, sabemos algo en este momento. That there has been a long fight for us to get live today. Ha sido una gran pelea para nosotros conectarnos el día de hoy. 
So everyone joining, we are asking you right now. Así que cada uno de ustedes que se está conectando, o se, ya está conectado, que nos join, acompañen. Join us now. Acompáñenos ya. And the baby. Y el bebé. Join us by um, being involved in the chat. Estén compartiendo con nosotros estando en el chat. You can let your needs be known. Y que cada una de sus necesidades sea manifestada o no la haga saber. Whatever you need from the Lord. Todo lo, cualquier cosa que usted necesite del Señor. Our goal today. Nuestra meta el día de hoy. One purpose. Nuestro propósito el día de hoy. Let's take her out of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Te amo, bebisita. Mm. We love you. Videos, uh, <laughs> it probably is this one. It's, it's really fuzzy. Yeah. See, just look at the screen. It's, it's looking, the connection. Yeah. Man, it looks so clear on here. Hmm. It looks extremely clear. Well, I've got it off here. I've got my computer shut down. I can shut down Facebook. Probably we're it's all connected in the Wi-Fi. It's all a right. bandwidth. Facebook, I'm going to have to shut you down. You can watch us live on uh, YouTube. YouTube. We have just had severe warfare today, so we'd appreciate you playing. And I will share. A todos nos vamos a ir a YouTube, solo a YouTube, porque en Facebook eh, okay. no se está viendo muy bien en las dos redes. Necesitamos una mejor conexión, así que solo vamos a estar por YouTube. En WATB.TV. WATB.TV. That's a little better. I'm going to turn the TV off. Everything that's Wi Fi does not need to be connected. Right. Cutting them off. Turning my phone off. Yes, everybody mm -hmm. turn your phones off. Daniel, turn your phone off. It's my birthday. I know, but just go in there and turn your Wi-Fi off. No, the password. I know. Daniel, don't tell everybody in the world your password. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That's so funny. And yes, it's his birthday. Thank you, everybody, for joining <laughs> us right days. now. We have a, a 4K, highly high-definition camera, and it looks like on here that it is amazingly good quality. Now, we're hoping that the bandwidth and everything joins in and we're good. All right, one watching from London. Hello, Miss Stephanie. Hello. Hola, hola, Stephanie de London. De Londres. Welcome, welcome. All right, how's everybody? You're way too loud. Let's go ahead and put it on your shirt. Okay, thank you. Thank you for telling me. Usually my voice is too soft, so. <laughs> just talk a little bit, okay? Okay. All right, testing, testing. You can hear me well? Yeah, but it's saying it's still a little fuzzy. Is what they're saying. So, I'm, so I'm looking at it now. And it looks. It's yeah. getting better. Damage is. Well, I'm just going to film y'all then, just straight out film. That way we can be covered. There. Okay, better okay. camera now. All right. Better. Let's make sure her Wi Fi is cut off her phone. Yeah, Mom, your Wi-Fi is cut off? Yep. Okay, your iPad Wi-Fi? Okay, okay. Then your Wi-Fi is off? Sure. Okay. Well, hallelujah. All right, everybody in here, perfect audio. Thank you, Carla. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's clear. We got better audio. And the devil is a liar. Yes, that's right. Diablo es un mentiroso. You talking about the Holy Spirit. Giving you an opportunity to practice giving out self-control. El Espíritu Santo, ese es el perfecto momento para aplicar eh, control propio <laughs> y paciencia. So anytime you have opportunity. Y cada vez que eh, uno tiene oportunidad. Where a situation donde, presents itself. Donde una situación se presenta. That situation or person may be challenging you. 
esa situación o persona eh, lo reta. It might stir emotions and anger inside of you. Y pueda que en ese momento eh, salga eh, rabia y todo empiece a ser una turbulencia en el momento. What do you do in response? ¿Usted qué hace en, en cómo usted actúa ante la situación? A born again Christian. Una persona nacida en, en Cristo. A new man, your new creation. Una nueva creación, un nuevo hombre. Who lives in the spirit. Que vive en el espíritu. Walks in the spirit. Camina en el espíritu. We have now the power. Nosotros ahora, ahora tenemos el poder. To respond. En responder. And control ourselves. Y controlarnos a nosotros mismos. Inside of every opportunity. En cada situación. We can respond rather than react. Podemos responder en vez de reaccionar. You can walk in the spirit. Puede usted caminar en el espíritu. Allow the spirit to re help you renew your mind. Y permiti permitir que el espíritu le renueve su mente. You can put to death the emotions and the attributes, the attitudes of your soul. Y poner, eh, prácticamente morir todas sus acciones y todo lo que usted piensa. And in each opportunity. Y en cada oportunidad. What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos? As born again new creations. Como creaciones nuevas de Dios. How do you respond to a situation? Usted cómo responde en una situación? Someone calls you a name. Alguien le llama de, con palabras y de cualquier cosa. Someone in your family calls you ugly. Alguien le llama feo, fea. They, put, they push your triggers. Y le empujan eh, básicamente los botones they para push, que estalle usted. They push all your buttons. Y, y básicamente lo empujan y empujan. And my mom used to say, you're getting on my last nerve. Hasta que usted se sale oh, de quicio y... I was old. Y mi mamá dice de que ya me está sacando de quicio. It's been years since my mom has told me getting on her last nerve. Ya han sido años que ella a veces dice que me está sacando de quicio. A new man. Un nuevo hombre. Walks in the spirit. O nueva creación camina en el espíritu. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? It took us two hours Nos tomó dos horas to even have the capability to go live para tener, with you. Para tener la capacidad o la habilidad de estar en vivo aquí presente con ustedes. Every step of the way cada paso en el camino of doing the same thing we've done hundreds of times de haciendo lo mismo que hacemos más de 100 veces que ya hemos hecho más de 100 veces and it not working all y funcionaba y no funcionaba how do you respond usted cómo respondería a eso your self part of your selfish part yourself parte de, de su ser, de su parte de, 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 de ser. The sinful nature. La parte de pecado. The carnal side of you. La parte carnal de usted. We are to put that to death. Eso es lo que tenemos que poner a morir. What happens in this life. Lo que pasa en esta vida. Situations. Situaciones. Provide opportunities. Proveen oportunidades. Galatians 5 is where we're going to go today. En Galatians. Galatia 5. We're going to go to Galatians chapter 5. And that's Galatians 5 verse 16. Galatia 5. Gal Galatas, perdón. Lo leo siempre en inglés, así que Disculpe la traducción. <laughs> Gálatas 5. We are going to talk today about walking in the spirit. Vamos a hablar el día de hoy de cómo caminar en el espíritu. What we're really talking about is, is being born again. De lo que realmente hablar el día de hoy es 
¿Cómo vamos a actuar en nacidos ya en, el, en, en Dios? John, the book of John, chapter 3. El libro de, de Pablo, no, de John. ¿Cómo se escribe John? John? The book of John, Juan. Juan. The book of John, el chapter 3. El libro de three, Juan, capítulo 3. Talks about being born of the Spirit. Habla de, de cómo es estar nacido en el Espíritu. That's where Jesus says the words for the first time. Ahí es donde Jesús dice las primeras palabras. Jesus said, you must be born again. Jesús dice, usted tiene que nacer de nuevo. That's how you enter into the kingdom of God. Así es usted como entra en el reino de Dios. He says you can be born of the natural or of the flesh. Él dice que usted puede eh, nacer de lo natural o de la carne. Like our kids were born como out nuestros, of the flesh. Como nuestros hijos han nacido también de la carne. Everyone was born of the flesh. Cada uno ha nacido de la carne. You can touch yourself and pinch yourself. Usted se puede tocar, se puede pellizcar. You were born of the flesh. Y usted ha nacido de la carne. But to enter into this kingdom pero para entrar en este reino that Jesus talked about que Jesús habló where his father donde su padre sits on the throne se sienta en el trono Okay, Jesus Jesús talked about the kingdom of heaven. Habló del reino de los cielos. The king, el rey, his domain, su dominio, which we will say is heaven, que decimos que es el cielo. You enter to the kingdom of heaven, usted entra en el reino de los cielos, by being born again. De haber nacido de nuevo. Born of the Holy Spirit. Nacido en el Espíritu Santo. The Holy Spirit that Jesus talked about. El Espíritu Santo que Jesús habló. We're going to go there after Galatians. Vamos a ir ahí a Gálatas, después de Gálatas. He said the Holy Spirit is like the wind. El Espíritu Santo es como el viento. I want you to sit still right now. Yo quiero que se siente firmemente ahora mismo. Do you have a window nearby? Usted, usted tiene una ventana cerca de usted. Can you see the wind outside? Puede usted ver el viento. Can anybody see the wind? Pueden ver el viento. Try hard. Alguien puede ver el viento. Look harder. Miren bien, eh, cuidadosamente, can, lo miran. Can, Ven el viento. Can anybody see the wind? Alguien puede ver el viento. Anybody. Alguien, alguien puede ver el viento. Can anybody see the wind if you look outside? Si ustedes miran ahora en una ventana, pueden ver el viento. No. No. You cannot. Usted no. See the wind. Puede ver el viento. It's invisible. Es invisible. You can see the effects. Ustedes pueden ver los efectos. The effect of the wind on the trees. El efecto del viento en los árboles. Have you ever seen a news anchor? Someone who gives the news. You know, of course. Okay, al, ustedes han visto un periodista. You ever seen someone standing in a hurricane? Talking to the news channel. Ustedes han visto algún periodista hablando en frente de un huracán, have dando you, el reporte de noticias. Have you ever seen them holding on to a telephone pole? Han visto de que se sostienen como de, de, un, de una columna de teléfono. In the hurricane. En ese huracán. You can't see the wind. Ustedes no pueden ver el viento. You can see the particles. Ustedes pueden ver las partículas. The effects of the wind. Los efectos del viento. In a tornado. Y en un tornado. You can start to see the effects of the wind. Ustedes pueden empezar a ver los efectos del you viento. You can see the dust. Ustedes pueden ver el polvo. You can see the water. Pueden ver el agua. You can see the particles that the wind has made into a funnel. Pueden ver las partículas que el viento But ha hecho en un torbellino. That hits you in the face. Pero el viento cuando te pega la cara. That's invisible. Eso es invisible. Jesus said that's the same way with the Holy Spirit. Jesús dice que de la misma manera es el Espíritu Santo. The Holy Spirit is invisible. El Espíritu Santo es invisible. But you can feel the effects of the Spirit. Pero ustedes pueden sentir los efectos del Espíritu. When someone prays for somebody to receive the Spirit. 
cuando alguien ora para que alguien reciba el Espíritu. To be filled with the Spirit. Para que sea lleno del Espíritu. You can see the effects of the Spirit on that person. Ustedes pueden ver los efectos del Espíritu en esa persona. Jesus says you can hear the sound of the wind. Jesús dijo que usted puede escuchar el, el, el sonido del viento. You can see the effects of the wind. Ustedes pueden ver los efectos del viento. You can feel the wind. Usted puede sentir el viento. Okay. The Holy Spirit. El Espíritu Santo. Is like the wind. Es como el viento. You can feel the Holy Spirit. Usted puede sentir al Espíritu Santo. You can hear the voice of the Spirit. Usted puede escuchar la voz del Espíritu Santo. And you can see the effects of the Spirit. Y usted puede sen sentir, ver los efectos del de Espíritu. Let's talk today. Hablemos hoy. About walking. Eh, ca en, en cómo caminar. And living. Y vivir. Daily. A diariamente. In the Spirit. En el Espíritu. Experiencing everything throughout your day. Experimentando todo a través de su día. Living with and by the Spirit. Viviendo con el Espíritu y por el Espíritu. Okay, let's read Galatians 5. Bueno, vamos a leer Galatas 5. Okay, Galatians 5. We're Galatas gonna, 5. We're going to go to verse 16. Versículo 16. It says, this I say then. Digo pues. Walk in the spirit, andad en el espíritu, and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Y no satisfagáis los deseos de la carne. Okay, verse 16 is walk in the spirit. Versículo 16, camine con el espíritu. And that is how, y así es como, you don't fulfill, usted no The desires of your flesh. No llena los deseos de la carne. Your flesh is the impulses of your mind and your body. La carne son los impulsos de su mente y de su cuerpo. Again, when you have a situation challenge you. De nuevo, cuando usted tiene una situación que lo reta. Your responsibility. Su responsabilidad. Is your response. Es como usted responde a ello. To the, the ability of the Holy Spirit in you. Y en la habilidad del Espíritu Santo en usted. To respond to that situation. En cómo usted responderá a esa situación. Okay. Now let's go to verse 17. Bueno, nos vamos al versículo 17. It says, for the flesh. Porque el deseo de la carne. Lust against the spirit. Es contra el Espíritu. And the spirit against the flesh. Y el del espíritu es contra la These carne. are contrary the one to the other. Y estos se oponen entre sí. So that you can't do the things that you want to. Para que no hagáis lo que quisierais. The apostle Paul is making a general statement. El apóstol Pablo está haciendo eh, una afirmación general. To this church here in Galatia, the Galatians. Para la iglesia aquí de Gálatas. He's telling them. Les está diciendo. That you have. You walk in the spirit. Que usted tiene y usted camina en el espíritu. But, and you have this flesh that you have to deal with. Pero usted tiene a esta carne aquí que tiene que usted eh, tomar a cabo. Now. He's going to tell them how to deal with it. But he has to define to them. Y ahora aquí él les va, tiene que decir cómo lidiar con eso y les tiene que enseñar o definir. What he means by the spirit and the flesh. ¿Qué significa eso del espíritu y de la carne? Okay, so you walk in the spirit. Así que usted camina en el espíritu. And that's how you don't fulfill the lust of your flesh. Y así es como usted no llena eh, los deseos de la carne. That tells us a fact Eso nos dice un factor that your flesh de que su carne has desires. Tiene deseos. And James, the book of James, y el libro de James, he teaches, is, he teaches us that nos enseña eso, every one of us is tempted que cada uno de nosotros es tentado when our flesh is enticed cuando nuestra carne está eh, incitada o eh, tentada 
Satan will bring an, a situation. Satan traerá una situación. Or we'll call it an opportunity. O le llamará una oportunidad. That challenges you. Que lo reta, que lo desafía usted. It targets your desires of your flesh. Básicamente eh, apunta a los deseos de su carne. The Bible says you're enticed or drawn or, enti or lured to. La Biblia dice que usted es como llamado, como incitado o atraído a esto de la carne. So the impulses of your flesh Así que los impulsos de la carne wants to react quiere reaccionar when someone gossips about you cuando alguien está hablando chismes de usted by attacking their character back. Eh, y de esa manera atacando a, esa, a ese individuo de when, regreso. When someone says something ugly to you cuando alguien le dice algo, alguna ofensa a usted That moment en ese momento is an opportunity es una oportunidad for the desires of your, your sinful nature para los deseos de su, de su parte natural de la carne to respond de pecado, para responder in two ways. O reaccionar de dos maneras. One, you're going to give de la primera manera usted va a dar out of the Holy Spirit usted, inside of you usted va a manifestar el Espíritu Santo or you're going to respond or react out of your flesh o usted va a responder o a reaccionar de lo, en lo natural en la you, carne you by your spirit usted por su espíritu you're in control usted está en control ok It says that the spirit is against the flesh. Se dice que el, el espíritu está contra la carne. And the flesh is against our spirit. Y que, el, y que la carne está contra el espíritu. Let's read verse 18. Leamos versículo 18. Oh, let's go back to 17. The right. last part says. Regresémonos al 17. La última parte dice. In summary, the flesh is against the spirit. En conclusión. Eh, la carne está contra el espíritu. And the spirit is against the flesh. Y el espíritu está contra la carne. So that what you want to do, you can't do. Así que lo que usted quiera hacer, se puede hacer. He's presenting the problem. Él está presentando el problema. That this church was facing. De lo que esta iglesia estaba encarando. They were being pulled away. Estas personas estaban siendo eh, sacadas from the pure gospel that Paul preached. Se estaban saliendo del, del no. evangelio puro que Pablo estaba That's predicando. Right. They were being pulled back into Judaism. Estaban siendo oh. jalados al judaísmo. They were being pulled away to be circumcised estaban again. Estaban saliéndose ya de hasta la, hasta, hasta la circuncisión. They were being pulled away back to Se estaban regresando a thinking that they had to do some of the law a pensar que tenían que hacer algo de la ley in order to be in Christ. Para poder estar en Cristo. Paul was correcting them. Pablo los estaba corrigiendo. He's telling them that the only way to be in Christ les estaba diciendo que la única manera para poder estar en Cristo is the new man. Es ser un nuevo hombre. Those born of the Spirit Esos aquellos nacidos de nuevo en el Espíritu have freedom. Tienen libertad. But when you are in freedom, Pero cuando usted está en libertad, you have to continue usted tiene que continuar walking in the Spirit caminando en el Espíritu. Since you got your life in, by the Spirit, ya que usted ya tiene una vida en el Espíritu, you have to continue walking being In union with that spirit. Usted tiene que seguir caminando en unión con el espíritu. So the end of the chat, the verse 17. Así que al final en el versículo aquí 18. Says that you can't do the things that you want to. Eh, dice que usted puede hacer las cosas que usted puede hacer. Verse 18 says. Versículo 18 dice. The first word is. La primera palabra es. But. Pero. But. Pero. But if si, you are, if you be led of the Spirit, pero si sois guiados por el Espíritu, you are not under the law. No estáis bajo la ley. Right. He, by saying the word but, al decir la palabra 
pero he canceled his last statement. Ya canceló su afirmación anterior. The spirits against the flesh. Los espíritus contra la carne. The flesh is against the spirit. Que la carne está contra el espíritu. So that you can't do the things you want. Para que usted no haga las cosas que usted quiere hacer. But. Pero. If. Si. You are led. Pero si sois guiados. Being driven. Sean yes. llevados. If you're responding to your surrounding si usted está respondiendo responding a esa, a ese, a ese ambiente, to the opportunities provided to you a esas oportunidades que han sido proveídas how a usted, do you respond usted cómo responde ante esa situación that's the question esa es la pregunta because you're not under the law porque usted ya no está bajo la ley. You died to the law. Usted murió en esa ley. You died to being controlled by your flesh. Usted ya murió en eso para que usted pueda controlar su carne. You are no longer controlled by. Usted ya no está controlado. The old man. Por la carne. Not the Jewish. O por el hombre pasado. Judaism. O por el judaísmo. It's not the law of Moses. Ya no es la ley de Moisés. You are now free. Usted ya está libre. Born of the Spirit. Nacido yeah. del Espíritu. Born of a new kingdom. Nacido yeah. ya en un you nuevo reino. You are born of the family of the Father. Usted ya ha nacido en la familia del Padre. In heaven. En los cielos. A new creation. Una nueva creación. Old things passed away. Todas las cosas ya están pasadas. Behold. Sea, mira, aquí, mira. All things are new. Mira, todas las cosas ya están nuevas. All things are of God. Todas las cosas son de Dios. You are now adopted. Usted ahora ha sido adoptado. Into the Father's family. En, en la familia del Padre. Now that you are a son. Ahora que usted es un hijo. Or daughter of God. O hija de Dios. He sends the spirit of his son el envía el de su hijo into your spirit. De su Now you cry, Abba, Father. Ahora usted llora y grita, Abba, Padre. Now, being Ahora, led of the spirit, sido guiado del Espíritu, you are now in freedom. Usted ya está en libertad. In chapter 5, he said, en el capítulo 5, él dijo, Chapter 5, and it's verse... Um, Capítulo 5, versículo... We're going to go to chapter 5, verse 1. Capítulo 5, versículo 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the freedom wherewith Christ has made us free. Estad, pues, firmes en la libertad con que yes, Cristo Lord. nos hizo libres. And be not entangled again... Y no estéis otra vez sujetos With the yoke of bondage. al yugo de esclavitud. In other words, you're free. En otras palabras, usted es yes. libre. Past tense. Tiempo pasado. Christ made you free. Cristo ya lo hizo libre. Don't be entangled again. No se enrede de nuevo. All right. Paul goes in and tells them about Not being circumcised. All right, let's just Pablo read. Les está hablando aquí que no sean circuncidados. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. He aquí yo, Pablo, os digo que si hoy circundiza, circundizadáis, de nada os aprovechará Cristo. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised. Y otra vez testifico a todo hombre que se circuncida. He's a debtor to do the whole law. Que está obligado a guardar toda la ley. Christ has become of no effect unto you. De Cristo ois desligasteis. Whosoever of you are justified by the law. Los que por la ley os justificáis. You are fallen from grace. De la gracia habéis caído. In other words, you have freedom. En otras palabras, usted tiene libertad. But you're allowing yourself to be a slave again. Pero usted está permitiendo Whoa. ser... Un esclavo de nuevo. To an old bondage. A, a, a una atadura vieja. You had the chains broken off of you. Usted ya tiene eh, cadenas quebradas de usted. But now, ya se han but now you're walking right back to the chains. Y ahora usted está queriendo regresar a esas cadenas. And you're choosing to place them back on you. Y usted está eligiendo ponérselas de nuevo. Okay, now. 
He Ahora, says, él dice, verse 5, eh, capítulo, versículo 5, for we through the Spirit, pues nosotros por el Espíritu, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Guardamos por fe la esperanza de la justicia. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision. Porque en Cristo Jesús ni la circuncisión vale algo He's ni saying la that incircuncisión. Once you're born of the Spirit and in Christ. Uh, él dice que ahí mismo se nace en, en el Espíritu y en Cristo. It does not matter being circumcised or uncircumcised. No importa right. ya la circuncisión. But faith. Pero la fe which works que trabaja through love que obra por el amor you're in Christ usted está en Cristo living by faith viviendo por la fe because the just shall live by faith porque los justos vivirán por la fe not by our sight no por nuestra vista we live by vemos, faith vivimos es por la fe with the spirit con el espíritu and we operate y, y así estamos operando in every situation en toda situación in love en amor okay now ahora verse 13 versículo 13 for brethren you have been called unto freedom porque vosotros hermanos a libertad Fuisteis llamados. Only use not freedom for an occasion to the flesh. Solamente que no uséis la libertad como ocasión para la carne. But. Sino. By love serve one another. Sino servíos por amor los unos a los otros. But if you bite and devour one another. Take heed that you be not consumed one of another. Verse 15. Paul makes a very clear point. Pablo hizo un punto muy exacto aquí. Being born of the Spirit. Nacido en el Espíritu. Being in Christ. Estando en Cristo. You are born of the Spirit. Usted ha nacido del Espíritu. And you're in freedom. Y usted está en libertad. Now you use that freedom. Ahora use esa libertad. To love and serve. Para amar y para servir. You love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Usted ama a Dios eh, con toda su mente, su alma y su cuerpo. And you love your neighbor. Y usted ama a su vecino. Jesus said to love your neighbor as I have loved you. Jesús ha dicho que ame a su vecino así como los he yo amado. So we love our neighbor as Christ has loved us. Así que amamos a nuestro vecino así como Dios nos ha amado. So it's not circumstancing in the spirit. Es viviendo en el espíritu. By faith. Por la fe. We love God. Amamos a Dios. And love others. Y a otros. Now he talks about being provided an opportunity. Ahora él habla de que nos, nos ha dado una oportunidad. Every person you interact with in your daily life. Cada persona con la que usted interactúa en su día a día. When you interact, let's just say, living and uh, managing yourself. Digamos que usted está viviendo o, o llevando a cabo su propia persona. When you are with others. Cuando usted está con otros. When you and yourself are alone. Cuando usted y usted solo está solo. You have a spirit. Usted tiene un espíritu. Who lives in a body. Que vive en un cuerpo. You possess a soul. Usted posee un alma. That's your mind, will, and emotions. Que es su mente, sus emociones y, y lo que usted quiere. Being born again. Nacido de nuevo. Being a new man. Siendo un nuevo hombre. He that is joined unto the Lord. Aquel que está unido al Señor. Becomes one spirit. Se convierten en un solo espíritu. You are in union with the Spirit Usted of God. Usted está en unión con el Espíritu de Dios. You now live in the Spirit. Usted ahora vive en el Espíritu. Romans 8 says that if the Spirit of God is not in you. Romanos 8 dice que si el Espíritu de Dios no está en usted. You are none of His. Usted no es de Él, no pertenece a Él. Being joined with the Spirit. Estando en unión con el Espíritu. Now. Ahora. 
you now give out usted ahora puede dar in every situation en toda situación in two ways en dos maneras you give out of the spirit usted da del espíritu or you give out of the flesh o usted da de la carne now let's go now ahora vámonos verse 19 al versículo 19 now it says now the works of the flesh are manifest y manifestadas son las obras de la carne. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19. Galatas 5, versículo 19. These are the works of the flesh. Y manifestadas son las obras de la carne. Paul says that if you're led of the Spirit, Pablo dice que si usted se es guiado del Espíritu, you won't fulfill the lust of your flesh. Usted no llenará los deseos de la carne. So your flesh has desires Así que su carne tiene deseos that are against walking in the spirit. Que están en contra de caminar en el espíritu. Okay. These bueno, are the works estos son las obras of the flesh. De la carne. Another way to say it is this. Otra manera de decirlo es que esto when provided an opportunity cuando se provee una oportunidad can flow. Esta es una de las maneras que su, su libre albedrío puede fluir. You can choose to give usted, puede da, usted puede elegir dar and make a decision y tomar una decisión that makes itself known like these. que puede revelarse de alguna de estas formas. You can choose to do something in the flesh usted puede elegir hacer algo en la carne like adultery, como adulterio, fornication, fornicación, uncleanness, eh, inmundancia, inmundicia, lasciviousness, lascivia, idolatry, idolatría, witchcraft, hechicerías, hatred, enemistades o odio, variance, pleitos, emulations, celos, wrath, iras, strife, contiendas, seditions, disensiones, heresies, herejías, envyings, Envidias, murders, homicidios, drunkenness, borracheras, revelings, orgías, and such like. Y, y cosas semejantes a estas. Now we're going to go through those real quick and just give a brief, but Vamos a hablar verse alguna, 22. Uh, cada una de ellas, versículo 22. He uses the word but. Y acá se usa la palabra pero en el inglés. Aquí no la veo en el español. <laughs> Again, but. Pero, de nuevo acá aparece la palabra pero. But. doesn't show here, but it's okay. <laughs> pero. The, the fruit of the spirit. Pero el fruto del espíritu. Is love, joy, peace. Es amor, gozo, paz. Long suffering, gentleness, goodness. Paciencia, benignidad, bondad. Faith. Fe. Meekness. Más endumbre. Self control. Templanza. Against such there is no law. Contra tales cosas no hay ley. And y, they that are Christ pero los que son de Cristo have crucified. Han crucificado. Is that future Eso tense? Es futuro, eso es de tiempo futuro. Present or past tense? Presente o pasado. That's past tense. Eso es pasado. ¿sí? He's reminding them. Él les está recordando. They that are Christ que aquellos que son de Cristo have crucified han crucificado past tense es pasado es tiempo pasado the flesh with the affections han, and lusts han crucificado la carne con sus pasiones y deseos verse 25 versículo 25 so Galatians 5:25 if we live si vivimos in the spirit por el espíritu en el espíritu let us also walk in the spirit Andemos también por el Espíritu. If you received this, sí. if you received your life in the Spirit. Si usted ya recibió la vida en el Espíritu. If you're born of the Spirit. Si usted ya nació del Espíritu. Let us also walk in the Spirit. Así que también caminemos en el Espíritu. He said you've already crucified your flesh. Él dice que ya se ha crucificado su carne. When you're provided an opportunity. Cuando una oportunidad se presenta. Let's say to look at pornography. Digamos como ver pornografía. You have an option. Usted tiene una opción. Your flesh is being enticed. Su carne es incitada. Usted tiene una oportunidad de elegir la carne. To give out of your flesh. De salir de la carne. And to sow. 
y para sembrar into the flesh. en la carne. And that you reap corruption. Y así es que usted empieza a recoger una cosecha de corrupción. Or you have a choice o usted tiene una, de una decisión to live and walk by the Spirit de elegir y caminar en el Espíritu and to give out y para dar self -control. control propio. You have a choice with that situation. Usted tiene una decisión en esa situación. Yield to the Spirit es, es sumergirse en el espíritu and give self -control. y poder actuar eh, en control. You know what? ¿Saben una cosa? There is no law no hay ley against contra giving love dar amor giving joy dando eh, gozo giving peace dando paz patience, kindness, paciencia, gentleness benignidad y faithfulness y and self-control. Benignidad y bondad y fe. Those who, are, those who are born of the Spirit. Aquellos que han sido nacidos en el Espíritu. They can give out of the Spirit. Ellos pueden dar del Espíritu. In every situation. En cada situación. When your spouse says something ugly. Cuando su esposa o su esposo le dice algo feo. You have an opportunity to give love. Usted tiene una oportunidad de give dar them amor, patience. De darle paciencia. You know what? You can give joy. Usted puede dar gozo. If you have an enemy. Si usted tiene un enemigo. That's doing evil to you. Que le está haciendo cosas malas. He says to overcome evil by doing good. Él dice de que use buenos trabajos para so sobrepasar la maldad. Because we have the Spirit of God. Porque tenemos el Espíritu de Dios. Because we're a new creation. Porque somos una nueva creación. Because we're made new. Porque ya hemos sido nuevos. We can in every situation. Podemos y en cada situación. Respond godly. Responder de una manera de, de magnífica en Dios. If you respond in the flesh. Si usted responde en la carne. That's a part of your mind. Que es una parte de su mente. That needs to be put to death. Que tiene que ponerse, doblegarse, en la mujer, morirse. It needs to be you need to renew your mind there. Tiene que renovar su mente ahí. Submit that. Sumergir eso. Put it to death. Ya ponerlo a morir. By the Spirit. Por el Espíritu. Put it to death. Ponerlo a morir. Renew your mind. Renovar su mente. Here's what the Word says. Aquí es lo que la palabra dice. You can give love. Usted puede dar amor. Out. You can give love Usted out. Usted puede dar And there's no law restricting you no hay ley que lo on giving love. Que yo estoy dando amor. You can go to the nursing home. Yo, usted puede ir a una casa de abuelitos. No sé cómo se dice eso. You can go to the hospital. You can, <laughs> go, hospital. You can go on the streets. A la calle. You can go where people are hurting. Puede ir a un lugar donde la gente necesita de You can give love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and gentleness. Y usted puede dar la paciencia, la bondad, There's no gozo, law. la paz. There's no law. No hay ley. There's no law in the word of God. No hay ley en la palabra de Dios. That restricts you from giving out love. Que lo restringe a usted de dar amor. James calls it the law of freedom. Eh, Santiago le dice, lo llama la, el amor en la libertad, libertad de amor. In the kingdom of heaven. En el reino de los cielos. There is a law of love. Hay una ley de amor. This law says you give love in every situation. Esta ley dice que usted da amor en cualquier situación. And that law sums up all of the law of Moses. Y esa ley suma todas las leyes you de Moisés. You give love. Usted da amor. By walking in the Spirit. En caminar en el Espíritu. You give of the Spirit. Usted da del Espíritu. And you will fulfill the law. Y usted llenará la ley. You don't have to worry about giving Getting circumcised. Usted no tiene que preocuparse por tener la circuncisión. You don't have to worry about attending feasts. No se tiene que preocupar por atender. Um, It's no longer about certain Sabbaths. I don't know how to say that. Uh, days of worship. Okay, no tiene que usted preocuparse de eh, alabar, tener días de alabanza. It's no longer about Attend, uh, observing a certain holy day. No se tiene que preocupar para servir un día santo. 
It's about not about new moons. Es no no es por un día de la luna. It's not about festivals. No es por festividades o algún festival. It's not about a lineage. O por un linaje. Or blood types. O por un tipo de sangre. It's no longer Greek nor Jew. No, ya no es griego ni judío. It doesn't matter if you're black or white or. No importa si usted es blanco o negro. Jew or Gentile. Judío o gentil. Listen, guys. Escuchen. In Christ, en Cristo, in spirit, en el Espíritu, it's one faith, es una fe, one love, un amor, one spirit, un Espíritu, one kingdom, un reino, one family, una familia. It's not even male or female. No, ni siquiera es de mujer o hombre. It's a new creation. Es una nueva creación. Born of the Spirit. Nacido del Espíritu. Living every day. Viviendo cada día. By the Spirit. Por el Espíritu. And that eso is the kingdom. Es el reino. That's it, guys. Eso es todo. That's the kingdom. Ese es el reino. And in the kingdom, y en el reino, there's freedom. Hay libertad. You are free now. Usted está libre in the kingdom. En el reino. You are healed usted está sano from every manner of sickness and disease. de todo tipo de enfermedad. You're free from every tormenting demon. Usted está libre de cualquier demonio que lo tormenta. Every mental issue. Cualquier eh, men problema mental. You're free from the stealing and the killing and the destroying of Satan. Usted está libre de, de lo que se ha robado Satanás y ha destruido. Jesus came to give you life. Jesús vino a darle vida. And that life. Y esa vida. More abundantly. Más en abundancia. That Holy Spirit. Ese Espíritu Santo. Is that life. Es esa vida. When he gives you that life, Cuando él le da esa vida, that life esa vida is more abundantly. Es en más en abundancia. You have love and joy and peace Usted tiene amor, more, paz, more abundantly. En más abundancia. Abundant healing. En abundancia en san, en sanidad. Abundant freedom. Libertad en abundancia. And this is the message este es el mensaje of the kingdom of heaven del reino de los cielos, of the gospel. Del evangelio. That message is this. El mensaje es este. God is light. Dios es luz. In him there is no darkness. En él no hay oscuridad. All sickness and disease. Toda enfermedad. All tormenting of Satan. Cualquier eh, tormento de Satanás. All lying. Toda mentira. Stealing. Robo. Killing. Eh, matanza. All idol worship. Cualquier cosa de, idolat de idolatría. All of that is darkness. Todo eso es oscuridad. As soon as you receive Jesus. En el mismo momento que usted recibe a Jesús. And his spirit fills you. Y su espíritu lo llena, making you a new creation. Haciéndolo una nueva creación. You are put into a new kingdom. Usted ya se pone out of the king, reino. out of the kingdom of darkness. Usted ya es puesto en el reino fuera del reino de la oscuridad. Into the kingdom of light. En el reino de la luz. That means you're free. Así que significa que usted ya es libre. Freedom, he says. Libertad, dice. Libre. You crucify. Usted crucifica. All of the flesh. Todo de la carne. All of the desires and all of the lust. Todo de lo, los deseos de la carne y toda la lujuria. It's, it's nailed to the cross with Jesus. Ya ha sido crucificado en la cruz. And you're no Jesús. longer. Y ya, usted ya no más. Under the power. Usted ya no está bajo el poder. And have to obey your flesh. Y de la carne y tiene que usted obedecer la carne. You can no walk. In the spirit. Usted puede caminar en el espíritu. You can experience the presence of heaven. Usted puede experimentar la presencia you de, have de los cielos. Access to your father. Usted tiene acceso al padre. You have the name of Jesus. Usted tiene el nombre de Jesús. That's far above every name that is named. Que está sobre todo nombre. You todo have nombre. freedom. Y usted tiene libertad. You are delivered. Usted está ya liberado. You are healed. Usted ya está sano. In this kingdom. En este reino. All you have to do. Todo lo que usted tiene que hacer. Is repent. Es arrepentirse. You have to turn away. Usted tiene que ya salir de su vieja You got to turn your mind to him. Usted tiene que poner su mente en You él. have to yield. Usted tiene que que someterse you a have él. to lay down your life. Usted tiene que poner su vida. You have to submit. 
someterse a él and be obedient y ser obediente to following the spirit of God para seguir el espíritu de Dios let him teach you his word deje que él enseñe su palabra and everything he teaches you todo lo que él enseña you yield to it usted simplemente se doblega a él and you pursue it y usted la sigue and you do it y usted la hace when you do this word cuando usted hace su palabra, the word becomes flesh. Esta palabra se hace carne. In other words, it becomes a part of your, the divine nature in you. En otras palabras, se convierte en, en la divinidad que ya está en usted. It's now what you want to do. Es ya lo que usted quiere hacer. People say your second nature. Hay gente que dice que ya viene de segunda noción, que you ya are now, nace de usted. You are now a new creation. Usted ya es una nueva creación. Born of God. Nacido de Dios. Born of an incorruptible seed. Nacido de una semilla incorruptible. You're a partaker of the divine nature. Usted ya está, forma parte de, you, la, de la nación You divina. are now godly. Usted ya es, es un Dios, es como Dios. And you can do all of this word. Y usted puede hacer todo de, que está en la palabra. The Spirit's job is to teach you. El trabajo del Espíritu es enseñarle. His job is to guide you into this truth. El trabajo del Espíritu es guiarlo en la verdad. He works in you. Él trabaja en usted. Both to will. Los, ellos para que lo salga de usted. He works in you to want Para it. que usted lo quiera, usted lo desee. To desire this. Para que usted lo desee. And he works in you to do it. Y, y él trabaja en usted para que usted la haga, lo haga. He gives you the desires. Él le da los deseos. And he is the ability in you to perform it. Y él es el que le da la habilidad para tomar la acción, para hacerlo. So, Así. if... We go in to así, verse 7. Así que si vamos al versículo 7. I want to say this by the Spirit of the Lord. Vamos eh, a decir esto de, 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 de la palabra del Espíritu. To all of the body of Christ. A todo, a todo el cuerpo de Dios. Hear what the Lord says to you. Escuche lo que Dios le está diciendo. This is what the Lord is saying to his church. Esto es lo que el Señor le está diciendo a su iglesia. He's saying what he has been saying. Él está diciendo lo que él ya ha estado diciendo. He is saying, verse 7. Acá dice en el versículo 7. Be not deceived. No se engañados. God is not mocked. Dios no se puede, no, no puede ser burlado. For whatsoever a man sows. Pues todo lo que el hombre sembrare. That shall he also reap. Eso también segará. También. For if. If, for he that soweth to his flesh el que siembra en su carne, shall of the flesh reap corruption. Carne segará corrupción. But he that soweth to the spirit Mas el que siembra para el espíritu, shall of the spirit reap life. Del espíritu segará vida eterna. This life that you reap is everlasting. Esta luz que usted recoge eh, dura por siempre. So here's the word of the Lord. Así que esta es la palabra del Señor. In every situation. En todo You are a son of God. Usted es un hijo, hija de Dios. That has a responsibility. Que tiene la responsabilidad. Your response. De responder. To his ability in you. De la habilidad de él en usted. To choose the Spirit's way. Para elegir eh, lo que elige el Espíritu. To give out by the, of the Spirit. Para dar lo que sale del Espíritu. Or to yield and give to the flesh. O para someterse y dejárselo a la carne. If you choose flesh, you'll reap si, corruption. Si usted elige la carne, usted recogerá corrupción. If you yield and choose to give out of this Holy Spirit. Si usted eh, siembra y recoge para dar del Espíritu, you will reap more life. usted recogerá, cosechará más vida, vida eterna. Eternal life. Vida eterna. That life that came from heaven, esa vida que vino del reino de los cielos, eternal Holy Spirit, 
el Espíritu Santo eterno. Is the life that Jesus came to give. Es la vida que Jesús vino a darle. That's the abundant of the abundance of life. Esa es la vida en abundancia. All right, verse 9. Versículo 9. Let us not be weary in well doing. No nos cansemos pues de hacer el bien. Let's not be weary. Don't get tired of doing no, good. No nos cansemos de hacer el bien. That word at the beginning of that is and. The chapter not verse 9, chapter 6 verse 9 of Galatians. Chapter 6 verse 9. Capítulo 6 de Gálatas, he versículo just, 9. He just said that if you sow to the flesh you reap corruption. Él ya dijo de que si usted siembra de la carne usted recogerá de la But if you give out if you give out of the spirit, Pero you, si usted da del espíritu, you're going to reap that eternal life. Usted recogerá vida eterna. And the word and means he's continuing that statement. Y la palabra y aquí and, esto dice que él, él sigue afirmando esa palabra. And let us not be weary in well doing. Y no nos cansemos pues de hacer el bien. What's the well doing he's talking about here? He's talking about us sowing to the Spirit. Él está hablando aquí es de sembrar en el Espíritu. He says, if you go to verse 8, but he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Si nos vamos al versículo 8, acá dice, porque el que siembra para eh, el Espíritu, del Espíritu se gará vida eterna. In the original Greek manuscripts, there was not a period here. Y en los manuscritos griegos originales no había un punto aquí. It would say, reap life everlasting and let us not be weary in that well doing. Okay. Can you repeat that? And let us not be weary no, in well doing. Y no seamos eh, cansados de hacer el bien. Guys, if we read the word, it, we can see that we should not, it's saying right here very clearly, it is saying, si leemos la palabra, dice aquí muy claramente. Don't grow tired. No nos cansemos. Don't be weary. No nos cansemos. In doing good. De hacer el bien. Guys, do, this is the word of the Lord to the church. Mire mi gente, esta es la palabra a la iglesia. Don't be weary. No nos cansemos. In giving out and choosing to give out and live through the Spirit. En dar y elegir en vivir del Espíritu. Let us not be weary in doing well. No nos cansemos en hacer. What is doing well? Es eso de hacer el bien. From the scripture we can go back. De la escritura podemos regresarnos Doing aquí. well y hacer el bien is when you sow to the spirit. Es cuando usted siembra en el espíritu. And then we ask ourselves what does it mean to sow to the spirit? Y ahora qué significa sembrar en el espíritu? To sow means to plant a seed. Sembrar significa plantar una semilla. Or to give a seed. O para dar una semilla. That means what does it mean to sow to the spirit? ¿Qué significa sembrar en el Espíritu? He tells us in verse 22. Él nos dice esto en el versículo 22. But you can sow to the Spirit by sowing love. Más el fruto del Espíritu es amor. Technically planting a seed of love. Básicamente sembrando una semilla de Or amor. Or giving love. O dando amor. Joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness. Oso, paz, benignidad. By giving goodness. Dando el bien, haciendo el faith. bien. Faith. So I can go out right now and practice faith. Yo puedo dar fe todo lo que yo quiera. So I can go heal the sick. Así que yo puedo ir a sanar al enfermo. By faith. Por fe. I'll lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Le pongo las manos a I'll have, y se re, se I'll have the faith of God. Porque yo tengo la fe de Dios. And I'll command the mountain to be removed. Y le, y comando, le doy, eh, to be cast a la para into que the se sea. Para que se vaya al, al I'll believe the things which I say. I'll believe that they'll come to pass. Yo creo que se hará. And I'll have whatsoever I say. Y yo tendré todo lo que yo diga. Mark 11, 22, 23. That's the mar chapter, that's Mark. Marcos. Don't go there, but that is Mark. I'm giving you a reference. Mark chapter 11. Marcos de capítulo 11. It said Jesus told his disciples. Dice que Jesús le dijo a sus discípulos. Basically, they just saw him curse a fig tree. 
eh, básicamente de que eh, maldijo a, o el árbol del figo. The next day, the tree was withered up. El siguiente día, ese árbol ya estaba todo ya muerto. The disciples asked him Los discípulos le, le preguntaron a Jesús about the fig tree that was withered. De, de, de lo que había pasado con el árbol del figo que estaba muerto. Jesus used that as an example. Jesús usó eso como un ejemplo. And he said, have faith in God. You can do this too. Básicamente les estaba diciendo que ustedes también lo pueden hacer. Whosoever shall say to this mountain. Cualquiera que diga a esta montaña. Be removed. Sea movida. Be cast into the sea. Que se vaya al océano. And if you don't doubt in your heart. Y si usted no duda en su corazón, but you believe that the things which you say will come to pass then you will have whatever you say Así que usted tendrá todo lo que usted diga. and in another time Matthew 17 en otro tiempo, en Mateo 17. The disciples couldn't cast a demon out of a kid. Los discípulos no podían sacar un demonio de un niño. So Jesus took the kid. Así que Jesús tomó al niño. He cast the demon out. Y le sacó el espíritu. He said, I command you. Yo le comando. Come out of the boy. Salga de, de, de este niño. And don't enter him anymore. Y no entre en él más. He commanded the mountain to move. El, él le hizo el comando a la montaña que se moviera. The demon left. Y el demonio se fue. Okay. They came to him later. Y luego vinieron a él de regreso. The disciples came to him and asked Jesus. Los discípulos vinieron y le preguntaron a Jesús. Why could we not cast the demon out? ¿Por qué fue que no pudimos sacar a este demonio? Jesus said because of your unbelief. Jesús dijo por, porque ustedes no creyeron. He says if you have faith. Si usted tiene fe, then you can command this. He used an example of a sycamore tree. Entonces usted puede comandar a este. If you have faith, you can command this sycamore tree to be plucked up. Usted hasta pudiera comandar a este árbol a que. And to be, to be pulled out of the ground. Para que salga de, de la tierra. And to be thrown in the sea. Y que se tire al océano. You can see in multiple examples. Usted puede ver en ejemplos múltiples. Jesus told his disciples. Que Jesús le enseñó a sus discípulos. To do what he did. Para hacer lo que él hizo. So, you have the spirit of God in you. Así que usted tiene el espíritu de Dios en usted. And you can give faith all you want. Y usted puede dar fe todo lo que usted quiera. There is no law restricting. No ley que lo restringa. To be a responsible son of God. Para ser un hijo responsable de Dios. Your response. Su res de la manera que usted responde. To everything that comes in your path. A todo lo que se le venga en el camino. Your responsibility. Su responsabilidad. Is your response. Es la manera que usted responde. To the spirit of God in you. Al espíritu de Dios que está en usted. In that situation. En esa situación. To meet a need. Para cumplir un, una necesidad. So you sow to the spirit. Así que usted siembra en el espíritu. You don't choose to react out of your flesh. Usted no elige en reaccionar de la carne. You don't give in. You can see that as a temptation. Usted puede ver eso como una tentación. Every moment that is presented to you. Cada momento que, que se, le, se le sea presente. Is either a temptation. Puede ser una tentación. But to a son of God, Pero a un hijo de Dios, it's all an opportunity. Es siempre una oportunidad. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing yeah. presented to you is temptation. Yeah. Nada presentado en, a, a usted es una tentación. It's all opportunity. Es todo una oportunidad. Every time Satan thinks he's tempting you. Cada vez que usted piensa que Satanás lo está tentando. Is an opportunity for es, you. Es una oportunidad para usted. To grow. Para crecer. To renew your mind. Para renovar su mente. And to walk in more life. Y para yeah. caminar en más vida. I'm going to prove it to you. Lo voy a comprobar. Woo! Verse 9. Chapter 5. Uh, Galatians 6. Verse 9. Galatas. Eh, capítulo 6, versículo 9. Let us not be weary in well doing. No nos cansemos, pues, de hacer el bien. For in due season we shall reap. Yeah. Porque a su tiempo if we, faint, if we faint not. Si no desmayamos. 
He's saying, do not grow weary. Él dice, no nos cansemos. Don't grow tired, church. No nos cansemos, iglesia. This is the word of the Lord. Esta es la palabra del Señor. Don't grow weary. No nos cansemos. In choosing to respond by the Spirit. En elegir, en responder en el Espíritu. In every situation. En toda situación. You will reap. Usted cosechará. If you don't faint. Si usted no se desmaya. If you don't give up. Si usted no, no. Those no who vence. don't give up. Si usted no se vence. Those who overcome. Todos que so, se, Those who continue yeah. strong. Todos que Those who continue. Todos que Those who don't faint. Yeah. Todos que no se Those are the ones. Esos son aquellos that reap life everlasting. Que van a yeah. vida That's the word of the Lord. Esa es la del Señor. You can't continue to be deceived, people. Usted no se puede, no puede seguir engañado. You can't be deceived. Usted no se puede seguir siendo engañado. You can't continue in adultery. Usted no puede seguir en adulterio. In fornication. En fornicación. You can't continue to be hateful. Usted no puede seguir odiando. You can't continue being racist. No puede continuar siendo racista. You can't continue to go to an only black church. No puede continuar solo yendo a una iglesia de Or negros. an only white church if there no is solo one. una iglesia de blancos si you, es que hay una. You can't go to a Latino church. No solo puede seguir continuando Where yendo a una iglesia Latino. de latinos. A Korean church. O a solo de coreanos. I understand it's okay to where they speak Korean. Yo entiendo quizás por el idioma. Or Vietnamese. O porque sea vietnamese, o but, in, but in America, Pero aquí en los Estados Unidos, Satan has he has conquered this country ya ha este país by religious spirits. Por espíritus religiosos. It's a spirit of division. Es un espíritu de división. On Sundays, los domingos, we are divided. Estamos divididos. That is not the will of the Lord. Ese no, ese no es, eh, el querer de Dios. Listen, you can go down all of these works of the flesh. Usted po podemos ir aquí a todo lo que pasa en la carne. Fornication. Fornicación. The Greek word is pornia. Eh, la palabra griega es pornia. Where we get the word porn. De donde viene la palabra porn. Okay, so pornography, Porno. the study Así of que... fornication. Pornografía, el estudio de la fornicación. Usted tiene una oportunidad to give self -control in that para, para que usted se controle en esa situación. To put to death your old man. Para que se muera su, su hombre to a, yield to a, the spirit. al pasado. El viejo hombre. You are free. Y que usted eh, trabaje en el espíritu porque right. usted ya está libre. Lasciviousness. Um, where is that at? Lasciviousness. Just say lasciviousness. Party, <laughs> Verse 19. Party. It means like party. Oh, right. lascivia. Lustfulness. Lascivia. Emula all these. Lujuria. Inmundicia. Seditions. All of that is going to like a party setting. Eso, eso quiere decir que es como ir, ir a una fiesta. Watching these music videos online. Mirar eh, videos de música Where the en internet, of this world donde el espíritu del mundo is flaunting all kinds of pornography. Está mostrando todo tipo de pornografía a través de estos videos. flaunting the spirit of lust. Están mostrando el espíritu de lujuria. There's literally butts shaking in your face. Literalmente hasta está traseros en la cara suya. They're en, doing drugs. Por los videos de música haciendo drogas. It's the spirit of this world. Este es, este es el espíritu del día de putting into your mind mundo, poniéndoselo en su mente. Opportunities oportunidades to give and yield to your flesh. Para, para sobregárselo a su That's carne. Right. You have a responsibility Usted tiene una responsabilidad to live godly. Para vivir santos. And that means to yield in every situation. Y eso es viviendo eh, de esta manera en cualquier situación. To a carnal Christian. A un cristiano carnal. All of these look like temptations. Todas estas cosas se ven como tentaciones. All of these works of the flesh Paul mentions. Todas estas obras de en la carne que Paul mencionó. 
Pero sigamos leyendo eh, Gálatas capítulo 6. As we have therefore opportunity. Versículo 10. Así que según tengamos oportunidad. Let us do good. Hagamos bien. Unto all men. A todos. Especially to them. Y Or of the household of faith. Y mayormente a los de la familia de la fe. Listen closely. Escuchen muy bien. Every time your flesh Cada vez que su carne is drawn away es llevada a eso by some type of temptation, let's say, a alguna tentación, it's opportunity. Es oportunidad. Every time someone is, is doing something that hurts you, cada vez que alguien le está haciendo algo que le duele, It's opportunity es oportunidad to do good. para hacer el bien. You have an opportunity Usted tiene una oportunidad to give love, para dar amor, to give joy, para dar gozo, to give peace. para dar paz. You can give your family self -control. Usted le puede dar a su familia control propio. You can give patience. Usted puede dar paz. It's your responsibility es su responsabilidad as, a, as being born of the Spirit de haber nacido del Espíritu to give of the Spirit para dar del Espíritu in every one of these opportunities. en cada una de estas oportunidades. There is no excuse. No hay excusa. You, but you don't understand what they did to me. Pero es que ustedes no entienden lo que me hicieron. Jesus died on the cross. Jesús murió en la cruz. He saved you from your flesh. Él lo salvó a usted de la carne. There is therefore now no condemnation. Así que ahorita ya no hay condenación. To those who are in Christ Jesus. Aquellos que están en Jesús. Who walk not after the flesh. Que no caminan eh, eh, atrás de la carne. But after the spirit. Pero en el espíritu. To that, those who are of the who walk after the flesh. Todos aquellos que, va, que caminan en la carne cannot please God. no pueden comprender a Dios. The spirit, Pero aquellos que caminan en el Espíritu there is life hay vida and peace. y paz. That's Romans chapter eight. Eso es Romanos capítulo 8. Yo le aconsejo que lo lea. Listen, guys. Escuchen. You are born again. Usted ha nacido de nuevo. Born of the Spirit. Nacido del Espíritu. As you have therefore opportunity. Ahí cuando usted tenga la oportunidad. Your response. Su respuesta a ello. To his ability in you. De la habilidad de él en usted. To meet that need. Para cumplir esa necesidad. Okay. If someone is sick before you. Si alguien está enfermo eh, ante sus ojos. Your response to the Spirit's ability la, de la manera que usted debería responder a la habilidad del Espíritu to meet that need para satisfacer esa necesidad es, es su responsabilidad as a son of God como hijo e hija de Dios this is the Christian life esta yeah. es la vida cristiana you have freedom usted tiene libertad To live and give out of the, by the Spirit of God in you. Para vivir y dar del Espíritu de Dios que está en usted. In this new life being born again en, in the Spirit. En esta nueva vida nacido en el Espíritu. Every day. Cada día. You can experience His presence. Usted puede experimentar su presencia. You can give of His love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. <laughs> Oh, God, help me. Usted puede, usted puede dar de esa paz, de esa bondad, de esa benignidad, de ese gozo, etc. We read the scripture very plainly. Leímos la escritura de una manera muy, muy clara. You have a choice. Usted tiene una, una decisión. You have a decision to act in the flesh. Una decisión de, de elegir en actuar en la carne. Or walk in the spirit. O caminar en el espíritu. Do not be deceived. No sean engañados. God is not mocked. Dios no se le burla. If you're living in the flesh. O si usted está viviendo en la carne. Verse 21. Eh, versículo 21. It says. Dice. As I have also told you in times past. In the middle of the 21, in the middle of the scripture. 
Five twenty one. And okay, let's just keep saying the okay. Just in the me. middle, it says, "As I have also told you in time past." Okay, como ya os le he dicho antes. This is Galatians five verse twenty one in the middle of the scripture. Okay. Mm -hmm. That they which do such things que los que practican tales cosas, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. No heredarán el reino de Dios. Why would Jesus tell people Porque Jesús les, ha, les habrá dicho esto a la gente to repent a que se arrepientan for the kingdom of God is nigh or near Porque el reino de los cielos está eh, cerca Why would he say to repent Porque él decía arrepentirse If he didn't mean you need to repent That's right Si él si él no decía what Jesus meant when he said repent cuando él decía arrepiéntase. He meant repent. Él decía arrepiéntase. He means turn away from your sin. Decía que deje atrás su pasado. He don't just tell you to do it on your own power. Él no solo le dice que lo haga por sus propios medios he y su said, propio poder. He says lay it all down to him. Déjeselo solo a él, déjeselo he took, a Dios. He took care of sin and sickness and disease. Ya Jesús eh, tomó cargo del, del pecado he y de took, la enfermedad. He took care of everything that Satan brought to mankind. Él ya cubrió todo lo que Satanás trajo a la humanidad. He took care of all that on the cross. Él ya tomó a cargo de todo eso, ya quebró todo eso. Now, Ahora, you must turn away from your sin. Usted tiene que dejar el pecado. Lay down your life to Jesus. Yeah. Y doblegar su vida a Jesús. Put down yourself, your selfishness. Doblegarse y dejar de su, su, su vida propia, su ser. And be filled with the Spirit of God. Y ser lleno del Espíritu de Dios. And you begin yielding yourself to Him. Y usted se empezará a doblegar a Él. And by the Spirit of God. Y por el Espíritu de Dios. He begins to lead you. Él lo empezará a guiar. He begins to teach you. Él empezará a enseñar. To renew your mind. Para renovar su mente. And to put off, of your, put off all of your old man. Y dejar el viejo hombre atrás. And He teaches you how to live. Y Él, él le va a dar cómo vivir. As a now a new son of God. Como ahora un nuevo hijo e hija de Dios. 5, 19 through 21. Galatians chapter 5. Galatas capítulo 5 del 19. 19 through 21. Del 19 al 21. Okay. He says that those people will not inherit the kingdom of God. Él dice que aquellas personas no heredarán el reino de Dios. Galatians chapter 6. Galatas capítulo 6. 7 through 10. De 7 al 10. Chap verse 7 says, be not deceived. El versículo 7 dice, no os engañéis. God is not mocked. Dios no puede ser burlado. Whatever a man sows. Pues todo lo que el hombre sembrare. That shall he also reap. Eso también secará. Okay, if you sow, then verse 8, if you sow to your flesh. Porque el que siembra para su carne. You will reap corruption. De la carne segará corrupción. Sometime, when you're born again. Cuando usted ha nacido de nuevo, your spirit man is made new. Yes. El espíritu suyo ha sido nuevo. Your, your inner man, your spirit, is made into a new creation. Su espíritu ha sido ya una nueva creación. That's joined to the spirit of God. Que está unido yes. al espíritu de Dios. Your mind, su mente, still has corruption all up in it. Todavía tiene corrupción. That mind, esa mente needs to be renewed. Necesita yes. ser renovada. This is what the Apostle Paul called Esto es lo que el, el Apostle Pablo llamaba. He called this warfare. Él llamaba esto guerra espiritual. This is our warfare. Esta yes. es nuestra guerra. Everybody turn with me to 2 Corinthians 10. Okay, 2 Corinthians 10. 2 Corinthians Chapter 10. No 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. No 
chapter 10. Ok, segunda. Second Corinthians mm. chant 10. Segunda Corintios 10. Verse 3. Versículo 3. For though we walk in the flesh. Pues aunque andemos en la carne. We do not war after the flesh. No militamos según la, la carne. Okay, remember, we're talking, so far today, we've been talking about Hasta ahora hemos hablado making a choice in your daily life, every experience. Tomando una decisión en su día a día, cada experiencia. Choosing to react in flesh eligiendo en reaccionar en la carne by the impulses of your flesh por los impulsos de la carne or walking in the spirit o caminar en el espíritu and giving out y dar of the Spirit. Dar de usted el Espíritu. Love, joy, peace. Amor, gozo y paz. So, though we walk in the flesh, a pesar de que caminamos en la carne, we're still in the flesh, guys. We can... Todavía caminamos en la carne. Our bodies, we walk in this flesh. Caminamos en esta carne. Verse 4. Versículo 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Porque las armas de nuestra milicia no son carnales. You don't respond in the situation carnally. Usted no responde, usted no responde a una situación de manera carnal. If someone says something hurtful to you, si alguien le hirió, we do not respond carnally. Nosotros no respondemos de manera carnal. Okay, but, Pero, so let's go back, for the weapons porque las armas He's talking about how do you operate Él está hablando de cómo operar What do we do practically ¿Qué, qué hacemos de manera práctica In these situations En este tipo de situaciones How do you renew your mind Cómo renueva usted la mente So that it's your default Para que sea usted You are how do you live in the divine nature? Como usted vive en una eh, vida divina o santa? And respond instantly to a situation. Y responder instantáneamente a una situación. You should respond in within the nature of the spirit of God. Usted debería responder en la naturaleza del espíritu de Dios. In every situation. En cada situación, en toda situación. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Porque las armas de nuestra milicia but no these, son carnales. But these weapons are mighty through God. Sino poderosas en Dios para la destrucción de fortalezas. To the pulling down of strongholds. Para la destrucción de fortalezas. Okay, let's look at the context here. You can notice. Miremos aquí el contexto. He's talking about, he's using an analogy of Military terms. Él está usando aquí una analogía de términos militares. Everybody in those days knew about military terms. Cada persona en, en aquellos tiempos sabía de términos militares. Everyone was occupied by Roman soldiers. Ca todos estaban ocupa eh, llenos de soldados militares. It would be like living in Baghdad, es Iraq. Es como vivir en Baghdad, en Irak. And everybody knowing American soldiers. Y todos conociendo a milita, soldados eh, estadounidenses. So he's saying, we are in a war. Así que él dice que estamos en una guerra. And he's, uh, uh, the analogy is that we are soldiers. Y la analogía aquí es que somos soldados. But our weapons are not swords, arrows, and guns. Pero nuestras oh, oh, oh. armas... No son flechas, Woo! ni pistolas, ni armadura. But he says we have mighty weapons. Pero tenemos eh, armas divinas. In God. En Dios. Now, we are born of the Spirit. Ahora, hemos nacido del Espíritu. And in every situation. Y en cada situación. As we have, therefore, opportunity. Cuando tengamos oportunidad. Let us do good. Hagamos el bien. Let us use our mighty weapons. Yeah. Usemos nuestra arm, armadura divina. All right. Nuestras What do our armas. weapons do? Ahora, ¿qué es lo que hacen esas armas? We, it says right here in verse on imaginations. Derribando argumentos. Imaginations is, a na is an image. Imagination. It's an image nation. En inglés dice imagina ima imaginación, o sea... Imagination is a nation of images. Imaginación es 
una visión de imágenes. Ok. So in your mind, Entonces en su mente, you still have areas of corruption in your mind. Usted todavía tiene áreas de corrupción en la mente. Your mind has obeyed the desires of your flesh su, your whole life. Su mente le ha obedecido a los deseos de la carne toda su vida. But when you're born of the spirit, Pero cuando usted nace del espíritu, you have to retrain your mind. Usted tiene que reentrenar su mente. You do have to truly brainwash yourself. Usted realmente tiene que lavarse el cerebro. I'll say that again. Lo diré de nuevo. You have to wash your brain. Usted tiene que lavarse el cerebro. You have to be transformed. Tiene que ser transformado. The Greek word is metamorphososo. La palabra griega es metamorfoso. Metamorphosis. Metamorfosis. You got to change your little cocoon mind. Usted tiene que cambiar el repollo de mente que tiene. You got to be in a metamorphosis Tiene que estar en una metamorfosis. you got to be transformed Tiene que ser transformado. into a beautiful butterfly <laughs> en una hermosa mariposa. <laughs> you got to be transformed from a carnal person Tiene que ser transformado de una persona carnal. and from a child of God y como hijo de Dios. and you must be renewed y tiene usted que ser renovado, transformed into transformado en, maturing as a son of God madurando como yeah. un hijo de Dios. those who are led by the spirit Aquellos que son guiados por el Espíritu, are sons of God son hijos de Dios. Childs of, a child of God un hijo de Dios, that's just born again que acaba de nacer, has to learn how to renew their mind. Tiene que aprender a renovar su mente. Okay. Bueno. Casting down imaginations. Destruyendo our bueno, weapons, argumentos. our mighty weapons in God. Y todo el tibes que se levanta. We. I'm, 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 I'm somewhere else. <laughs> chapter 10, verse 5. Casting down It's imaginations different. and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Okay, yeah. now I'm going to read it in Spanish because yeah. it's a little bit different. Derribando argumentos y toda altivez que se levanta contra el conocimiento de Dios y llevando cautivo todo pensamiento a la obediencia a Cristo. So, what do our weapons do? Ahora, ¿qué es lo que nuestras armas hacen? Our weapons give us the ability. Nuestras armas nos dan la habilidad. So walking in the spirit. Así que caminando en el espíritu. We can cast down. Podemos derrumbar. Old fleshly. Toda. Images. Toda imagen carnal. We can cast down old imaginations. Podemos derrumbar todas la, las imaginaciones. Your flesh has a picture Su carne tiene una foto of how to respond de cómo responder to each of those temptations of the flesh. A cada una de esas tentaciones de la carne. We need to cast that down. Necesitamos yeah. derrumbar eso. We need to renew that area of your mind. Necesitamos renovar la, el área de su mente. And you need to en get in the word y usted tiene que ir a la palabra to see in this mirror para ver en este espejo how you as a new man usted como un nuevo hombre how you as a son or daughter of God usted como un hijo o hija de Dios responds in those situations responde ante esas situaciones then luego it says every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God Where's the, the six? In Spanish, it's different. Scripture. Casting down imaginations. Okay, every high thing. Argumentos. So every high thing that exalts itself against what? Y todo el tibes que se levanta contra qué? Everybody. Todos. Contra qué es que se, se levanta? Satan said he would exalt himself on high. Satanás dice que él, él se enaltece en alto. The pride of his heart. Su orgullo en su corazón. Said he would exalt himself against. Él se, él salta against God. 
eh, a Dios. That's how he got kicked out of heaven. Así es como él los sacó de los cielos. Satan is the father of pride. Satanás es el padre del orgullo. Okay. De la mentira. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Derribando argumentos y todo el tibes que se levanta contra el conocimiento de Dios. This word, the Bible. Esta palabra, la Biblia. This is the knowledge of God. Este es el conocimiento de Dios. When you go into this word. Cuando usted va a esta palabra. Being taught of the Holy Spirit. Siendo enseñado por el Espíritu Santo. How to apply this to your own life. Cómo aplicar esto en su vida. Everything in your experience Todo en su experiencia that exalts itself against que se enaltece en contra what this word says. De lo que esta palabra dice. Your weapons can cast it down. Sus armas lo pueden derrumbar. It says then you bring into captivity Luego dice que usted, eh, llevando cautivo, every thought todo pensamiento to the obedience of Christ. a la obediencia a Cristo. Our weapons are mighty through God Nuestras eh, armas son enaltecidas to, en Dios. To take every thought and imagination para tomar todo pensamiento e imaginación that is contrary to this word of God. que se contradice a esta palabra de Dios and it make it our prisoner. y hacerla nuestro prisionero and put it under our feet. y ponerlo bajo los, nuestros pies. Our warfare, nuestra guerra All of the warfare that is talked about in the Bible Toda la guerra de la que se habla en la Biblia starts right in the renewing of your mind. Empieza en renovando su mente. In the spirit realm en, en la, en el, en el espíritu, you have God the Father on the throne Usted tiene al Padre en el trono. You have all of his angels. Usted tiene a todos los ángeles. You have the spirits of people who have died and gone to heaven. Están todos los espíritus de la gente que ha ido a los cielos. In heaven. En los cielos. Okay. You have Satan. Usted tiene a Satanás. All of his fallen angels. Todos los ángeles caídos. All of the demons. Todos los demonios. You have hell. Ahí está el infierno. With all of the, the people who have died and gone to hell. Con toda la gente que se ha muerto y se ha ido al infierno. The spirit, the inner man, the inner person of those people are in hell. Spirit and soul. El espíritu y el alma de estas personas están allí. Okay, then, so you have hell. Así que usted, acá, tenemos aquí al infierno. Those in hell. Aquellos en el, en el infierno. Those are in the kingdom of darkness. Aquellos en el reino de la oscuridad. On the earth surface. En la superficie de la tierra. You have mankind. Tenemos a la humanidad. Okay, mankind. La humanidad. When Jesus created Adam, God the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost made man in their image. Cuando... <laughs> Cuando Jesús creó a Adán y Eva por su imagen y semejanza de, de Dios. They gave dominion to man. Le dieron el dominio a, al hombre. Satan tempted Adam and Eve. Satan tentó a Adán y Eva. And took that dominion from Adam and Eve. Y le quitó ese dominio de Adán y Eva. Satan took the dominion from man. Le quitó ese dominio al hombre. He wreaks havoc. Free what? Forget it. <laughs> Satan therefore allowed man chose to fall into death. Satan eligió que el hombre cayera. And people began to die. Y la gente empezó a morir. Sickness, disease. Enfermedad. All types of sin. Todo tipo de pecado. All types of corruption. Todo tipo de corrupción. Began to enter into the bodies of humans. Empezó a entrarse en el cuerpo de los humanos. God began to make himself known throughout history. Dios empezó a manifestar a través de la historia. To these fallen humans. A estos hombres caídos. Okay. Jesus came. Jesús vino. Born of a virgin. Yes. Nacido de una virgen. 
of a woman who was born in sin. De una mujer que nació en pecado. Born of the Spirit. Nacido del Espíritu. He lived a life of man. Él vivió una vida de un hombre, como un hombre normal. He was baptized of John. Él lo bautizó, el John el Bautista. He was Juan born of the Spirit, technically. Y nació, da, nació del Espíritu técnicamente. The Holy Spirit came as a dove and filled him. El Espíritu Santo vino como una paloma y lo llenó. He was tempted of Satan. Eh, fue tentado por Satanás. He overcame Satan. Y, y, y pasó en la tentación. Jesus then for three and a half years. Jesús por eh, tres años y medio. Demonstrated. Demonstró. To us. A nosotros. How a son of God lives. Como un hijo de Dios vive. Every person who came to him. Cada persona que vino a Jesús. He gave of the spirit. Yeah, Él le dio right. del espíritu. Anyone who needed healing or deliverance. Cada quien que necesitaba eh, sanidad he o libertad, of the Jesús spirit. le dio del Espíritu. Everyone who needed forgiveness, he forgave. Cada, cada persona que necesitaba perdón, le, le perdonó. Relig religious hypocrites. Eh, hipócrita, hipócritas eh, religiosos. He gave correction. Le dio corrección. Everyone that came to him. Cada persona que vino a él, he showed us how warfare happens. Nos mostró cómo guerra en el espíritu warfare pasa. is Satan and his demons and people. La guerra es con Satanás, demonios the, y gente. There's the world system. Está el sistema del mundo. That's the TV, the internet. El tele, la televisión, el internet. Everything around you, that's the world system. Todo lo que está alrededor suyo que es el it sistema del it mundo. is designed to entice your flesh and draw you to it more and more. Está diseñado, está diseñado a tentarlo y a traerlo a lo carnal. Satan and all of his demons. Satanás y todos sus demonios. They will come to you. Vienen a usted. And provide opportunity for your flesh. Y presentan oportunidad para la carne. He'll speak into your ears. Y le hablará a los oídos. Because he's a spirit. Porque él es un espíritu. Remember the Holy Spirit. You can hear the spirit. Recuerden que uno escucha el Espíritu It's Santo. It's the same with Satan. Es lo mismo con Satanás. You can't see Satan. Usted no lo puede ver. Unless your eyes are opened. A menos de que sus ojos estén abiertos. You can feel demonic. Oppression. Usted yeah. puede sentir opresión demoníaca. You can heal. You can I mean you can hear demons speak. U usted hasta puede escuchar demonios hablar. You can see the effects of demons. Usted puede ver los efectos de los de demonios. If we cast a demon out and they start convulsing. Si sacamos echamos un demonio fuera podemos ver la manifestación convulsionando. You are seeing the effects of a spirit demon power on someone. Ustedes pueden ver los efectos. You can't de see. Un en you can't see the demon. Usted no puede ver el demonio como but tal. you can hear him speaking through the person. Pero usted puede escucharlo a través de la persona. And you can see the effects of that that demon. Y puede ver los efectos de ese demonio en esa persona. Do not be deceived, people. No sean engañados, mi mm -hmm. gente. Paul said we're in a war. Pablo dijo que estamos en una guerra. And we have weapons. Y tenemos armas. We have the name of Jesus. Tenemos el nombre de Jesús. We have the word of God. Tenemos la palabra de Dios. We have the spirit of God. Tenemos el espíritu de Dios. We have all of the promises. Tenemos todas sus promesas. It is written. Está escrito. When Jesus was tempted by Satan. Cuando Jesús fue tentado por Satanás. He did not choose to give out of his flesh and give in to temptation. Él no quiso que simplemente eh, fuera tentado por la carne. He gave of the spirit. El dio fue del espíritu. He said it is written. Él dijo está escrito. Satan, get behind me. Satanás, detrás de mí. He commanded that mountain to move. Él le comandó a la montaña que se moviera. He gave out of the spirit. El dio del yes, espíritu. Self control. Control propio. He gave out faith. El dio fe. He said, Satan, go. Le dijo, Satanás, vete. He gave good. So, yeah. okay. Satan, so Jesus was our example. Así que Jesús fue ese ejemplo. Your no warfare ejemplo. Su guerra is to renew your mind. Es renovar su mente. To study this word. Y estudiar esta Yield palabra. Yield to the spirit. 
Sométase al, al Let Espíritu. Him teach you. Deje que Él enseñe. Everything he teaches you, Cada cosa que él enseña, then you, at that moment, en ese momento, you're being a hearer of the word. Usted está yeah. escuchando su palabra. Your response su, su to his ability in you a, a la habilidad de él en usted, to do the word he's teaching you. Hacer la palabra que él enseña. That's your responsibility esa es su responsabilidad, to do this word de hacer esta palabra. by the Spirit por el Espíritu, by faith, por fe, means stepping out and doing what you read. Salir allá y, y hacerlo. If it's loving your spouse and your neighbor, si es amar a su esposo y a su vecino, they say something hurtful to you, si le dicen algo que lo hirió, here's how you respond in faith. You be a doer of the word así, by giving love and patience to your spouse. Así es como usted aplica la palabra. Usted simplemente da amor a su ese esposo, a ese vecino. That right there, guys, is your warfare. Ahí, ahí está mi gente la guerra. To bring every thought. Para traer cada pensamiento. Every attitude. Toda actitud. Every fortress or stronghold. Toda eh, fortaleza. Fortaleza. Uh -huh. In your mind. En su mente. The fort. La fortaleza. The place where Satan has dug deep. And got a strong place, a place that he's holding in your mind. Donde Satanás ha venido aquí a meterse en su cabeza y ha agarrado algo fuerte en usted. From, from your old man. De su hombre viejo. You have the Spirit of God. Usted tiene el Espíritu de you Dios. have freedom now in Christ. Usted ya tiene libertad en Cristo. You can command that mountain to go. Yeah. Usted puede ir con autoridad decirle a esa montaña que se mueva. You have the Holy Spirit. Usted tiene el Espíritu Santo. The Bible says he's given you La the, Biblia dice que eh, él le ha dado the measure of faith. La medida yeah. de fe. You have been given faith. Ya se le ha dado fe. You don't have to ask him for more faith. Usted no le tiene que preguntar por más fe. Faith is trusting him. La fe simplemente es Creer en él. Faith means I believe he's going to do what he said he'll do. La fe es creer que él va a hacer lo que él ya nos ha prometido. If que I tell my wife I will be somewhere at 10 a.m. Si yo le digo a mi esposa que yo voy a estar en algún lugar a las 10 she, de la mañana. She has faith. Yo tengo, ella tiene fe. Because I said I will be there at 10. Porque yo le dije que yo voy a estar ahí a las 10. She just goes about her day. Ella solo va en su día. She just knows that Brock will be there at 10. Ella simplemente sabe que ahí Brock 10 estará ahí a las 10. I have not given her a reason to doubt me being there by 10 a.m. Yo no le he dado una razón para dudar de que yo no estaré ahí a las 10. There's nothing that I have said that said I won't be there at 10. No hay nada que ha salido de mi boca que diga que yo no estaría ahí a las 10. Let's say I gave it to her in a text message. Un ejemplo, digamos que yo le dije esto a través de un texto. Her friend that is with her. La amiga que está con ella could say he's not going to be here at 10 a.m. Puede decir no, él no va a estar aquí a las 10. He's going to be here at 12. Él va a estar aquí a las 12. He's going to be here at noon, I know it. Él va a estar aquí en la tarde, yo lo sé. All Laura has to do Todo lo que Laura tiene que hacer is look at her text message. Es mirar su su mensaje de texto. And say no, it's written. Y decir no, está escrito. You see, he says it right here. Sí, mira, acá dice que he está says escrito. he'll be here at 10. Acá dice que él va a estar aquí a las 10. When did he say it? ¿Cuándo fue que lo dijo? It might have been two days ago. Quizá lo dijo hace dos días. It was past tense. Fue tiempo pasado. I said I will be there. Yo dije que yo estaré ahí. At 10 a.m. A las 10 de la mañana. She just has to believe I'll do what my word said. Solo hay que creer que, eh, que él hará lo que él dice. We're talking about a relationship, guys. Estamos hablando de una relación, mi gente. Of working together with the Spirit. Una relación de trabajar en conjunto con el Espíritu. Knowing your Heavenly Father. Conociendo a su Padre de los Cielos. The more you spend time with Him, talking to Him. Entre más usted habla con Él. And you listen to what He says. Y usted dice lo que, y escucha lo que Él dice en la Palabra. He's already written to you. Él ya se lo escribió. Describing to you what he's freely given you. Describiendo aquí lo que ya. It's already written. Lo que de manera gratis se le ha dado. He says, God, he says, son or daughter. Él ha dicho, hijo, hija de Dios. I've given you a gift. Le he dado 
les he dado un regalo. My spirit lives in you. Mi espíritu vive en usted. I've given you my name. Le he dado mi nombre. To act in the name of Jesus. Para actuar en el nombre de Jesús. To do what this word says. Para hacer lo que esta palabra dice. This is my kingdom. Este es mi reino. This is what Jesus accomplished on the cross. Esto es lo que Jesús cumplió en la cruz. We won the war. Ya ganamos la guerra. You are now my soldier. Ahora eres mi soldado. You are a son. Eres un hijo. That works. Que trabaja. In your father's business. En el negocio del padre. You are a manager. Usted es, es un manager. You're to manage your life. Usted es para eh, manejar su vida. This is your job description. Esta es la descripción de su vida. Do your job. Haga su trabajo. You have responsibilities. Usted tiene una responsabilidad. As a baby in Christ. Como un bebé en Cristo. I'll send people. Yo enviaré gente. To spoon feed you. Para que le dé cucharita. They'll give you a bottle and teach you. Para que le dé eh, un a bottle. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> They'll give you a bottle. Para que le dé tetero. So you can learn how to read this word. Para que usted aprenda a leer esta palabra. They're going to help you learn how to feel his presence. Va a aprender usted a cómo presenciar su presencia. They're going to teach you how to give love and joy and peace in every situation. Se le va a enseñar a cómo dar paz. You're, y amor en cada situación. You're going to learn to trust me to do my word more and more. Usted va a confiarle en cómo hacer su palabra más y más. The more you learn to do what I've told you to do. Entre más aprendas eh, lo que ya te he enseñado que hagas. The more you'll practice doing it. Más vas a practicar by my spirit. En hacerlo a través de mi espíritu. I've already given you all the power and grace that you need. Ya te he dado todo el poder y la gracia que necesitas. As you step out and practice. Cuando ya salgas de tu zona y lo practiques. The spirit of the Lord. El espíritu de Dios. Will come upon you. Vendrá en ti. And you will walk in that level of responsibility. Y caminarás en ese nivel de responsabilidad. The more you practice. Entre más practiques. The more of my grace you grow in. Más en mi gracia vas a crecer. Or in other words, the more you learn to do what's already, to let out what is already in you. En otras yeah. palabras, simplemente en, en aplicar lo que ya se te ha dado. That's right. So guys. Lo que ya está en ti. You are powerful. Ahora, mi gente, ustedes tienen poder. Let me take that back. The Holy Spirit in you. El Espíritu de Dios en usted. The new man. El nuevo hombre. You are born of God. Usted ha nacido de Dios. And you, Jesus has been given all power. Y Jesús les, nos ha dado todo el poder. In all heaven and in all the earth. De, todo, de todos los cielos y de toda la tierra. All the power of the universe is given to Jesus. Todo el poder del universo se le ha dado a Jesús. You can now act in his name. Ahora usted puede actuar en su nombre. Yes, okay. Now, we have addressed a lot of things. Ahora ya hemos eh, tocado varios temas. We do what Jesus did. A hacemos lo que Jesús hizo. Jesus preached and proclaimed. Jesús predicó y proclamó. For people to change their mind and repent. Para, para que la gente cambie su mente y se arrepienta. Because the kingdom of God is here. Porque el reino yeah. de los cielos está aquí. The kingdom of God is within your reach. El reino de los cielos está en sus manos. Because I'm proclaiming this right now. Porque ya lo estoy proclamando. You can reach out and receive. Usted simplemente puede eh, eh, abrir sus manos y recibir the realities of this kingdom las realidades de este reino you can receive all that you need usted puede recibir todo lo que usted necesita we have Jesus preached he teached and he healed Jesús predicó enseñó y sanó we like every time we want to preach cada vez que prediquemos we want to teach queremos enseñar about the kingdom del reino 
And then we demonstrate y luego lo demostramos the realities of the kingdom. de las realidades del reino. Whatever it is you need, Todo, cualquier cosa que usted necesite, we want to demonstrate. queremos demostrarlo. Okay. Now, Ahora, we're not on Zoom, we're just on YouTube. So, no estamos en Zoom, so we solo can't, estamos en YouTube. We can't exactly... Um, Get anybody on here live to no, no podemos atraer gente acá en vivo porque no estamos en Zoom. To minister to people live through video para chat. Para ministrar a gente en vivo o a, eh, solo a través del chat. But I have chat. to respond honestly. Y que nos respondan de manera honesta. Tell us what you need. Díganos qué necesitan. Tell us what it is you cannot do. Díganos qué no pueden hacer. If you're sick. Si usted está enfermo. In pain. Con dolor. Tell us the condition. Díganos la condición. And tell us if you can't touch your toes. Díganos si no puede tocar sus pies. If you can't see, hear, or walk. Si no puede ver, caminar. How will you know that God has healed you? ¿Cómo sabe usted que Dios le ha sanado? Okay. Everyone who wants to be saved and born again. Cada persona que quiere nacer en Cristo y nacer de nuevo. We are going to lead people into receiving Jesus and being born again. Vamos a guiar a, a, a aquellas personas a que nazcan de nuevo en Dios. And then we'll minister healing to people. Y luego ministra, los, les ministraremos para sanación. Anybody who wants to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and speaking tongues. Personas que quieren ser bautizadas en el Espíritu y hablar en lenguas. We will minister that as well. Vamos a hacer eso también. Vamos a ministrarles. Ok. Bueno. Everyone. Cada uno. Ok. Anyone who wants to receive. Cada uno que quiere recibir. Anything, let us know. But be specific and tell us what you want. Háganoslo saber a través del chat. Sea específico. Healing. Sanación. Deliverance from demons. El liberado de demonios. Baptism of the Holy Spirit. Bautismo en el Espíritu Santo. Or you want to give your life to Jesus. O quiere darle la vida a Dios, a yes. Jesús. Let us know on the chat. Háganos saber en el chat. I've already got some written, bro. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. I've been telling them we're going to pray for the salvation first and then we'll go into the other. <clears throat> What I'm, what I'm thinking I need to do is we'll pray for salvation yeah. and then everybody at the same time we're going to speak healing and tell them all at the same time we're not going to do one at a time we're not going to sit here and well, go. It's only a few. I know but just just uh, just in case people start saying this I got this I got okay, this yeah, yeah. we're going to we're going to minister salvation and then healing and then baptism of the Holy Spirit to I'm everybody at the same time salvation for my children I'll just say the few I got. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Miss Mary, she says the one that's saying right now she wants deliverance. She said that at night when she's sleeping, that she wakes up, the spirit wakes her up, and then she hears these animal sounds like a cat coming out of her. And so that's why she needs deliverance because uh, she wants deliverance from that. All right. Man, I wish we could have her live. That'd be amazing. Yeah. I wish we could show people. Hmm. Well, just let's go ahead today. And we could, hey, we could FaceTime her and put the FaceTime right here. Now, I'm going to ask people real quick. Anybody out there willing? Alguien que está eh, queriendo. If you're willing to receive your healing or deliverance live, si usted eh, desea recibir eh, su liberación, we can do a, we'll do something. We want some, we want people to see these things with their own eyes. Si usted desea eh, liberación, sanación, cualquier cosa o bautismo en vivo, en cámara, háganos saber para prueba. We could send them a link to Zoom and then all, all of them will hold that in front of the camera. You know what I mean? Acá lo, lo podemos eh, hacer. Vamos a buscar el método. Like we did the other night. Ya yeah, lo hemos hecho antes. 
Eh, esto pasó hace dos noches. Y fue hermoso. Alguien que esté de voluntario. Ok. Ours got kicked out. I'm back. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do, everybody. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. All right. We're going to go ahead now. I think we got everybody in here. We're going to start off. We're going to pray a prayer for salvation. We're going to go then next into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Vamos a hacer una oración eh, eh, para el bautismo. The, here's what we need to do. Uh, aquí es lo que tenemos que hacer. Everyone listening to me. Cada persona que me está escuchando. You must be honest. Tiene que ser honesto. And do not lie. Y no mentir. Which is the same thing. <laughs> and on the chat. Y en el chat. We use different measures. Um, Usamos varios métodos. Different um, units of measurement. One is if you have pain in your body. Eh, usamos varias medidas eh, para saber los niveles de, de dolor. For it to be on record, you need to put in the chat. Para que quede como record, eh, póngalo en el chat. From one to ten. Del uno al diez. What kind of pain level are you in? ¿Qué, qué número usted está en el dolor? Del okay. uno al diez. If ¿Qué tanto le duele? To, if you do something like touch your toes to make the pain, like if you can, whatever you do that brings the pain on, we need to know what kind of pain level. Necesitamos saber el nivel de dolor que one, usted tiene, del 1 al 10. So one unit of measurement is your pain level, 1 to 10. Del 1 al 10, 10 siendo el, el dolor más grande. After we pray, you got to be honest and say if it's down to a 2, you need to be honest. It's a 2 now. So we can keep attacking And commanding that mountain to move until it's a zero. Si usted está en un cinco y bajo a dos, te, eh, síganos diciendo en qué nivel está para llegar a cero. The second unit of measurement is something you could not do in the past. La otra medida de prueba es algo que usted no podía hacer en el pasado. Like right now, if you cannot touch your toes. Si usted ahora no puede tocar sus pies. But after you get healed, you can now touch your toes. That's a difference, a unit of measurement. Y después, si usted lo puede hacer, esa es una manera distintiva para nosotros saber de que ya es sano. If you can't eat certain foods, you know, like drink milk or whatever it is, if you couldn't drink milk in the past, but now you can. Si no podía tomar leche y okay. ahora lo puede hacer. That's another thing. Esa so, es otra manera de hacernos saber que ya está sano. In other words, you need to know, we need to be able to communicate on here together. Tenemos que podernos comunicar aquí en el chat. To be effective in making sure you receive the life of God. Para ser efectivos y asegurarnos que usted ya recibió la vida de Cristo. We're going to pray that you be filled with the Holy Spirit. Vamos a orar de que usted esté lleno por, del Espíritu Santo primero. Unit of measurement is you'll begin to open up your mouth. La unidad de medida es de que usted eh, quizá empiece a abrir, abrir, abrir su boca. Speaking in tongues. Like, hablar en lenguas. La, 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 he, 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 da, 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 algo así puede sonar. All right. So, everybody is on the same page. Everybody gets it. Así que ahora ya que todos estamos en la misma página y lo entendemos todos. Okay. My son be released from demons of rage, anger, stomach pain, ten to release his losses of wife, child. He keeps talking about wanting to die. Okay. Is your ES, is your son with you? And then, Lori, you're hearing, okay? I got a list going here. Okay. So, again, we're going to start salvation, baptism of the Holy Spirit, and then we're going to start ministering healing to people, okay? Everyone that starts receiving, you just start, as soon as we start commanding things to go, we start doing things, you start... Do it, start doing and acting 
and do basically do what I tell you to do. If, if I start saying now get up and start walking, now get up and walk. All right. So that's basically how it works. Now we're going to start praying now. Okay, vamos a orar. <clears throat> Okay. Now, everybody. Okay, everybody's had enough time now to put it in here. Well, what you need. Okay, ya todos te, te dieron la, el tiempo suficiente para poner lo que necesitan. Si necesitan sanación, bautismo en el Espíritu Santo, pónganlo, por favor. Gente en español también, están bienvenidos. Okay. Everybody now, lift up your hands. Okay, todos ahora levante sus manos. Everyone who wants to receive todos los que quieren recibir Jesus as your Savior and be Jesús born again. Como su Salvador y nacer de nuevo. Start now calling out on the name of Jesus. Yes. Empiecen a llamar el nombre de Jesús. Ask him to come in your life. Llame lo que venga a su vida. Declare that he's your king and that he is now your life. Declaren de que él es el rey de su vida. You can repeat after me and say, Father, Repitan, Padre, in the name of Jesus, en el nombre de Jesús, I ask you to come into my life. Yo te pido que vengas a mi vida. I give you all of me. Te doy todo de mí. I want to live for you now. Yo quiero vivir para ti ya. My life is yours. Mi vida es tuya. I surrender. Yo me someto a ti. I am no longer my own. Ya no soy yo All of my future mis propios métodos. Todo mi futuro is yours. Es tuyo. I give my life to you. Yo te doy mi vida. Mom, why don't you let Lord translate instead of you? You know what I mean? Nobody oh, can hear it. So, Say, Jesus, Jesus, I am yours. Yo soy tuyo. My life is yours. Mi vida es tuya. Now come into my life. Ahora ven a mi vida. Fill me with your spirit. Lléname con tu espíritu. Give me that prayer language. Dame esa oración. I want to have that power esa oración en lenguas. and ability Ten, quiero tener ese poder y esa for my mind to be renewed para que mi mente sea renovada. and to me to live holy. Y para que viva yo en santidad. I want to live for you. Quiero vivir para ti. Fill me now. Lléname ahora. Right now. Ahora mismo. Now, Father, in the name of ahora, Jesus, Padre, we de ask Jesús. you now for them to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Que sean todos Baptize them in the Holy Spirit. A todos the Holy Espíritu Spirit Santo. and fire. El Espíritu de fuego. Give them that prayer language. Dale esa oración en Holy lenguas. Spirit, come. Espíritu Santo, ven. Fill them in their rooms. En sus in their own homes. En sus Casas. Baptize them now. Ya ahora. Give them that prayer Dale language. Ya esa oración en lenguas. Satan, go Satanás from these people. Ya de esta gente. No más. No más. Leave. Vete. In Jesus' en el name. Nombre de Jesús. We command you to go. Te comandamos que now te be vayas. filled in the name ahora of Jesus. Te lleno en el nombre de Jesús. Now open up your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Shira da 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 rema kana na 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 Every person disease. We command every spirit working in these people right now in Jesus' name. You go from their bodies. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Go in Jesus' name. Go from them now in the name of Jesus. Go from them now. You devil, you leave now in the name of Jesus. Loose them now in the name of Jesus. Go from them. In the name of Jesus, loose them now. 
In the name of Jesus, I command sickness go. Every disease and virus go. Every weakness of the mind and the body go. Now we speak to your bodies right now in the name of Jesus. All the bodies listening, the sound of our voices, you be healed now. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, everybody be healed. Get up and walk. Do the things you couldn't do. Receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. Everyone, get up and do what you couldn't do. If you couldn't speak in tongues, speak in tongues now. If you couldn't walk, get up and walk. If you can't hear, take your hearing aid and hear now. Open up your eyes and see. Deaf ears open, be healed. All deaf ears, be healed. All body parts, I speak new body parts now in the name of Jesus. Right now, all pain go. Pain leave now in Jesus' name. Be healed. In Jesus' name, go. I command bodies, get up and heal. Be do. Do what you couldn't do. In Jesus' name, function properly. In the name of Jesus. Right now, if you got a bad knee, start moving your knee right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everybody out there. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be Be free. You are delivered. You are healed. You are free. You are fully healed in Jesus' name. Now in Jesus' name. Now everybody get on this chat. Start being and be honest and tell us right now. Give reports. Give us reports right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Everybody do what you couldn't do right now. Give us honest reports on pain levels right now. Hey, if we were, if we were, if we were ministering to your brother, your sister, your family member, Get a report from them now. Call them now. If they're not with you, call them. If they're with you right now, give an honest report. Now, I understand if the power of God came in your house and you can't talk right, then whenever, whenever you get, you just talk. VCU, I feel the healing. Now, I need units of measurement. Can you do, do something you couldn't do? If you can, tell us. It's, I mean, I, I, it's great. You feel the healing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, full, complete deliverance and healing for everybody in the name of Jesus. Satan, you go and you do not come back in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, we command that knee, that pain in that knee to go to a zero now, in the name of Jesus, all pain go, all pain go, in the name of Jesus, all pain leave, I command the life of God to flow in those legs, those bodies, in Jesus' name, full healing, all pain go. In Jesus' name. Always Jesus. Now, always Jesus. Go touch your toes, bend your knees, do everything. Give us a report. All right. Lori McNeil, hearing. In the name of Jesus, we command the life. Right now, that spirit, you go from her in the name of Jesus. The life right now of anything holding her uh, deafness back right now, I bind you right now and I command you to go. Right now, I command that hearing to be normal. I speak a new everything, a new hear, new ear, new um, eardrums, every part, nerves, body, everything be healed. I speak healing now in Jesus' name. I command your ear to, to open up, be healed. In Jesus' name. All right, always Jesus. We need a number, one to ten, a zero to ten. It should be a zero. Did you pray for Granite from Gret, 
Well, I commanded everything to be healed. Yeah. Okay. All right. She needs to respond and give us a report. What about last days for her husband? And Hallelujah. I'm healed. Always Jesus. We need a zero to 10. Listen, if it feels good, that's amazing. Good is good, but we need a number. I'm healed. What's the number? It's a zero. There you go, Jesus. There you go. Praise Always you Jesus. Lord. Sounds funny calling you Jesus. But anyways, Thank you, Lord. What, ma'am, bless you, sir. What? I don't know what. She asked <laughs> you to pray for his wife. She has sciatica pain and back pain. All right. Is your wife with you, Ken? Ken, are you still alive? Remember, we got a little bit delayed. All right. And we have several more, too. We have. Well, we prayed for everybody. So everybody needs to respond. Okay, even the last days of better Tennessee. All right, we prayed for people to baptize in the Holy Ghost. If you're still speaking in tongues, I need you to take a moment and put on here. Okay, put on here. Feels amazing. That's <laughs> awesome. Way to go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Always Jesus. That's hard to say, but. Hey, everyone who has been baptized in the Holy Ghost, give a response about speaking in tongues. I can hear muff sounds from my left ear, Greta. All right. In the name of Jesus, we command those ears to hear perfectly in the name of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus, we command the life of God to flow and to make a new ear in the name of Jesus. Life be in Jesus' name right now. We speak new ears. Be Healed in the name of Jesus right now. I command that hearing to go to a complete, full hearing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. I know, down to full hearing. Okay, Greta. All right. In Jesus' name, full hearing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, Lori says she needs a spirit of heaviness and depression. All right, Lori. Lori, right now we command that spirit of depression to go. Right now you be healed. You be delivered in Jesus' name. Devil, go from her in the name of Jesus. Come out. And we command her, you, Lori. Lori? Lori, we command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. We speak in your mind to have peace. Joy and love, you are filled with the Spirit. Now open up your mouth and speak in tongues and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lori, be filled right now. Now open up your mouth. Praying in the Holy Ghost is how it's the most powerful way to fight that. In the name of Jesus, that's your greatest weapon. Praying in the Holy Ghost, studying the Word and quoting the Scripture. Standing on this word and praying in the spirit in English and, and praying in tongues. That's how you stand on the promises. Stand in the spirit. I need healing for my thyroid. Right now, all right, we're going to pray for the thyroid. Come in, thyroid be healed. Thyroid. She did a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Yep, we come against that spirit right now. Yes. Satan, you go from her husband right now in the name of Jesus. We speak peace in his mind. We forbid you, Satan, to touch her husband in the name of Jesus. You go and we command him to be free. Husband, you be free. You be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, we command diabetes. You go from her mom in the name of Jesus. Right now, you be healed. We command that body to be new. Every part of that body function properly. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Okay, right now, Ken, 
Go over to your wife. Put your hand where she's having pain. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Okay, I'm going to give you a few moments to get over there to make sure. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we command the work of the enemy to go from her life, go from her body, in the name of Jesus. Right now, we command your body to be healed now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, pain, you go. I command your body to, t t to bend over, touch your toes without pain in the name of Jesus. Now get up and be healed in the name of Jesus. Now touch your toes, ma'am. Ken, have your wife touch your toes and walk to do what she couldn't do and give us a report back, okay? Rosa, let us know. How, how will you know that you don't have it, the thyroid problem? Like, let us know. That's right. Okay, in the name of Jesus, right now, um, for the husband's hip pain, always Jesus. Right now, lift up your husband. We command his hip to go. I mean, I mean, uh, we don't command that. We command that hip pain to go in the name of Jesus. We command that hip to be healed. I command his back to be healed, to be lined up. Every part of that body be lined up. I command his leg to grow out whatever it takes for him to have proper hip placement. Body be healed in Jesus' name. Okay, all pain go from that hip, from that hip, and for Ken's wife right now, all pain go to a zero. I command her body to be completely and wholly healed. Right now, in Jesus' name. Terry and Jeannie, right now, in the name of Jesus. Y'all lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. Shut your brain up. Don't think. Right now, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Open up your mouth right now and be filled now in Jesus. And Holy Spirit, come on them in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and speak in tongues now. Open up, open up. That's the Holy Ghost on you guys. That's the Holy Spirit. Ken Roberts, have your. I want to know two things. I want to know a unit of measurement of pain. She needs to be at zero pain, and she needs to do what she couldn't do. She needs to be able to touch her toes. She needs to be able to walk and bend her back. I need full reports until she's fully, completely healed. Okay. Thank you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, right now. Okay, everybody report back right now. Rick King, no, 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 that they would know you, that your spirit would draw them to you, that you would give them repentance, that they be delivered. We declare that they love the Lord their God, all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. They love their neighbor. They are free. They are delivered. They are healed in the name of Jesus. Right now, we command her. Father, we lift up her, her mind that she remembers her dreams. We're asking you that she be able to walk in the spirit, that you would teach her your word, that she be able to see in the spirit more. We ask in Jesus' name that she would grow and mature in the Lord. Hallelujah. Always Jesus. Hip pain is gone. Hallelujah. Be very, very, very detailed and let us know if pain is at a zero. No pain at all. Okay, we need units of measurements. You can touch the floor. That's one. Pain, 
one or zero to ten. Let us know. Hallelujah, guys. Oh, uh, what's her name? And if listen to her name after you just heard those sentences. Last day's the lighthouse. So it sounds like Satan has attacked her light, her eyes, her light, the seed. Okay. See what I mean? All right. You want to pray for that mama come in to go? Yeah. Hallelujah. Your body be healed in Jesus' name. Right, body be healed. Yes. 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 Always said hip pain is gone and can touch the floor. Yeah, we see that. The blessing. Z zero pain now. That's amazing. Way to go, always Jesus. Hallelujah. Go. Hallelujah. Watching Jesus. from Ireland and very blessed. Okay. Everybody, we are always honored. Yes. We love all of you guys. We uh, first of all, we have prayed for everyone on here to be healed. So if you have needs, guys, just I know. Just know that the life of God has been directed to your body. Some, most of the time, it's instantaneous. A lot of other times, it's the next day. Sometimes it's you know it takes up to a month. Okay, but the life of God is there now. Remember the fig tree. He he said no no more no one will eat figs from you anymore. It didn't go away instantly. The next day, they saw it was withered up by all the way from the root and the tree was withered. So when we command healing, that thing dies. It withers. Sometimes it's instantaneous and gone. Sometimes it's withering away and it takes time. Okay? So every one of you are blessed. We, we bless all of you in the name That's of Jesus. Right if you guys don't mind, my mom wants to know what state you're from. That was all what state you're from. Guys, we, I encourage Colorado. I encourage everybody to get in the Word, to study the Word. Okay, you can pray the Word. There's there's commandments on here. It says, "He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. He which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully." Every man according to purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudging over necessity. You can pray. I thank you, Lord, that I don't spare. I don't sow sparingly, but I sow bountifully. I thank you that I reap bountifully. You can pray. Father, I thank you that I, as I purpose in my heart, I give. I don't give grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. You can say, Father, I thank you that I'm a cheerful giver. This is how you grow. This is how you thank him for who he's made you to be already in your inner man. This is how you renew your mind to line up with who you are, guys. You can say, and God is able to make, this is, by the way, 2 Corinthians 9, I was just reading where my Bible was open. 2 Corinthians 9, usted simplemente lee la escritura y ya le da gracias a Dios por lo que usted es, por lo que describe la Biblia que usted es en la nueva creación. You can pray, verse 8, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Guys, what does all mean? ¿Qué significa todo? Cuando menciona todo en la Biblia, la palabra todo, ¿qué significa? All means all. Todo significa todo. God is able to make all grace Dios puede hacer toda la gracia abound to you. A, en abundancia en usted. 
The Spirit of God el Espíritu de Dios. is He is the ability of God. He él is the la, grace of él God. Es la habilidad de Dios. Él es la gracia. So because the Spirit of God's in you, you have all the grace of God. Porque Dios está en usted. Tiene la habilidad. He's able to make it all be abound to you. Puede ser lleno de abundancia a través de usted. That you de que usted always siempre what does always mean? ¿Qué always. significa siempre? Always means always. Siempre significa siempre. Does that mean only when you sow a seed? Significa que solo cuando siembra una semilla. Only when the super apostle says you can have it. Solo cuando los apóstoles dice que lo puede tener. Does that mean it's coming in the future? Significa que viene en el futuro. That this grace is coming. Que esta gracia viene. Now listen, I'm not going to get into that, but listen. Ahora no voy a entrar en esto, that pero you escuchen. Always having. Que ustedes siempre teniendo. All sufficiency. Toda, eh, el dominio. That means you having everything you need, always Todo lo having que all. Tiene de, en, para sus necesidades, siempre las, siempre va a tener todo. Always having all. Siempre teniendo todo. Sufficiency. La, lo suficiente. In all things. En todas las cosas. Always having all. Siempre teniendo todo. Sufficiency. Lo suficiente. In all things. En todas las cosas, siendo eficientes en todas yeah, las that cosas. that means all. All means all. Todo significa todo. As it is, you know, we, listen, this is how you pray. Así es como usted ora. Father, I thank you. Padre, le agra te agradezco, Padre. That you are able to make all grace abound toward me. Que yes. tienes toda gracia en abundancia en mí. That you are always que tú siempre, that I always que yo siempre, having all sufficiency teniendo toda eficiencia, in all things en todas las cosas. thank you Lord that I will abound Gracias, Dios, que yo voy a estar en abundancia, to every good work a, en cada obra. I thank you that it's written Te doy gracias que está escrito. I thank you Lord that I have dispersed abroad okay. that I give to the poor que yo le doy al pobre. Thank you that my righteous remains forever. Gracias que mi, mi rectitud de, se mantiene por siempre. I thank you that you minister seed to the sower. Te doy gracias que yo eh, ministro enfermo, eh, semilla al enfermo. Anyways, thank you for giving me seed to sow. Dame la semilla para sembrar. Thank you for giving me bread for my food. Gracias por darme pan para mi comida. Thank you for multiplying the seed that I sow. Gracias por multiplicar la semilla que yo siembro. Thank you for increasing the fruits of my Gracias righteousness. Gracias por incrementar Verse los 11. frutos de, de, mi, de mi manera de vida correcta. Thank you that I'm being enriched in everything. Gracias que Lord. estoy siendo enriquecido en todo. To all bountifulness. En toda abundancia. Which calls us through us. Anyway, so God, that's how you pray the word of God. Cuando usted lee la palabra, usted la ora al pray mismo tiempo. in tongues. Usted ora en lenguas. We would say pray in the spirit. Que es orar en el espíritu. Pray the will of God. Orar eh, lo que desea Dios. Which is praying the word. Que es orar su palabra. I know from this word that it is God's will. Yo sé que a través de esta palabra es lo que quiere Dios. That I'm supposed to always have everything I need que yo, eh, tengo todo lo que en él, in all things y todas las cosas me, se me han dadas, so that I can abound in yo, every good work I do. I know it's God's will for me to be enriched in everything in todas las cosas. So guys, how do you pray? Say, Father, Así ustedes como oran, Padre, in the name of Jesus, en el nombre de Jesús, I thank you that, or I'm asking you, Father, te, te pido, Padre, to, for me to have always para que yo tenga siempre, all sufficiency toda in all things. En todas las cosas. Father, I pray that I be enriched. Padre, te pido que sea yo enriquecido. In everything. En todas las cosas. To all bountifulness. Yes. En todo tipo de abundancia. Thank you for making all grace abound to me. 
Gracias porque toda abundancia sea en abundancia en mí. So you found out what the word says. Así que usted mira lo que la palabra dice. This is the knowledge of God. Esta es la, el conocimiento de Dios. This is what he created you for. Esto es de la razón de por qué él te creó. Find out what the word says. Mire qué es lo que dice la palabra. Ask the Father for it. Pregúntele al Padre por eso. And you stand on it. Y usted se mantiene firme en eso. You receive it. Usted lo recibe. And you do what it says to do. Y usted hace lo que dice que haga. Having done all to stand. Teniendo todo eso de una manera firme. You keep on standing on it. Usted simplemente se sigue manteniendo firme. Any hot thing that comes against what you know this word says. Cualquier cosa que se analtezca esta palabra que dice, you cast it down. usted simplemente lo derrumba. You use the sword of the spirit usted usa la espada del Espíritu to command those mountains to go. y le comanda a las montañas de que se muevan. You use the shield of faith usted usa eh, la cobertura de la fe and say, it is written. y dice, está escrito. It might be COVID-19 right now. Quizá estamos en, en el COVID-19. I may not have a job right now. Quizá no tengo un trabajo. But the word of God says. Pero la palabra de Dios dice. It is your will, Father. It, it, is, it is, is por ti, por lo que tú quieres That en you're mí. able to make all grace abound to me. Que toda tu gracia será en abundancia en mí. Father, your word says Padre, tu palabra dice that I'll always have everything I need que yo siempre tendré todo lo que necesito in all things. En todas las cosas. It says that you'll give me seed to sow. Me dices que me darás semilla para sembrar. You'll provide the bread for my needs, my food. Me darás el, el pan para mis necesidades, you'll, para mi comida. And, that I, and I'm going to obey and give y yo voy a obedecer y voy a dar When I give, cuando doy you'll multiply the seed I sow. tú me vas a multiplicar la semilla que sembré If I give of the spirit, si yo doy del Espíritu I reap eternal life. yo recojo eterna, eh, vida eterna And this passage he's talking about money. y aquí en este, en este pasaje están hablando de dinero And he's talking about giving to the poor. está hablando de darle al pobre All forms of giving, guys. Toda manera de dar. If we give, si damos, he will take and multiply what I sow. Él tomará eso y lo multiplicará <coughs> todo lo que hemos sembrado. And we will be enriched in everything. Y, esa, y estéis enriquecidos en todo. To all bountifulness. Para toda liberalidad, toda guys, abundancia. We encourage all of you. Les eh, les aconsejamos. To find out what his will is in this word. Que busquen en su palabra el que quiere para usted. To believe it and do it. Para creerla y hacerla. And keep on doing it. Y que lo sigan haciendo. Don't grow weary in well doing. No desfallezcan. As you, no have, se as you have opportunity. Así como cuando tengan oportunidad. Let us do what this word says to do. Hagamos lo que diga esta Biblia que hagamos. And give out of the Spirit of God. Y demos del Espíritu de Dios. To others. A otros. We love God. Amamos a Dios. So, being born of the Spirit. Así que haber nacido del Espíritu. By the Spirit. Por el Espíritu. Through faith. A través de la fe. We love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Amamos a Dios con todo nuestro corazón y nuestra alma. And then we love y our neighbors. Y, y amamos al vecino. As he has loved us. Así como él nos ha amado. We love you guys. Los amamos. Thank you for your time. Gracias por su tiempo. Everyone on here. Todos aquí. Please put it in the comments. Por favor, pónganle en los comentarios. Any of the results that of de los resultados. Every healing. Cada sanación. If you gave your life to Jesus. Si dieron eh, su vida a Jesús. When you get free from demonic oppression. Eh, si fueron liberados de, de opresión demoníaca. When you get baptized in the Holy Ghost and speak in tongues. Y ha hablado en lenguas y ha, ha, ha recibido el Espíritu. Please put it into the comments and Por let favor, the world. Por favor, pónganlo en los comentarios. Let the world know. Y hágale el mundo saber. Because this is recorded. Porque esto se está grabando. People will watch this forever on YouTube. La gente va a ver esto por siempre en, en YouTube. Your praise report or testimony. 
su testimonio will encourage the other people that need the same thing motivará a otros para que necesitan las mismas cosas that will encourage them to step out and los, receive their miracle los motivará para que para que se manifiesten y lo, y digan eh, que necesitan y reporten su milagro um, everyone has been asking you know what they how if, if they want to be a part of They, people have asked us if this is a like a church. Can you send your tithes? Can you give offerings here? Um, we're not going to ask for offerings, guys. No les vamos a pedir ofrendas ni dinero. But at the same time, we know it's God's will for you to give somewhere. Pero al mismo tiempo es lo que desea Dios que dar a alguna iglesia. If you, can, if you are being fed here. Si ustedes han sido alimentados eh, And, aquí en este ministerio. If this is what you want to call church, you want to be, a, this is a storehouse. Si esto es lo que ustedes quieren llamar iglesia, mm -hmm. un momento de conexión con Dios. The word does say to give a tenth, to give a tithe. La palabra dice de, de dar un diezmo. All right. If you want to do that. Si ustedes quieren hacer eso. You feel... You feel the Lord wants you to do that? You can do that. Y ustedes sienten que Dios se quiere que hagan eso o lo pueden hacer a través de, de, del vínculo que les vamos a enviar. I will teach on finances sometimes so everyone will see what the word of God says about it. Después hablaré de finanzas para que vean lo que dice Dios sobre este tema. The, when God revealed himself to people in the Bible. Cuando Dios se reveló a las personas en la Biblia. He revealed himself to Abraham. Él se le reveló a Abraham. By faith, Abraham believed. Por fe, Abraham creyó. And he received righteousness. Y recibió eh, eh, gracia. He was told by God to do tithes. Él le dijo de, por Dios de que hiciera diezmos. He gave a tithe to, Mel, to Melchizedek. Él le dio un diezmo a Melchizedek. Melchizedek. He gave tithe when he was in faith. Le dio un diezmo porque estaba él en fe. That was before circumcision. Eso fue antes de la circuncisión. And that was before the law. Y eso fue antes de la ley. Tithing is not from the law. Eh, dar eh, diezmos no es de la ley. Tithing is of faith. Dar diezmos es de la fe. Everyone that we did, every person that comes to Jesus comes to Jesus by faith. Cada persona que viene a Dios es por la fe. We are the children or the we basically we are blessed with faithful Abraham. Somos bendecidos por la fe de, de Abraham. Jesus is the seed of Abraham. Jesús dice que es la semilla de Abraham. When you are born again, cuando son nacidos de nuevo, you're crucified with Christ. Ustedes son crucificados en Cristo. Your life is now hidden in Christ. Su vida ahorita está escondida en Cristo. This is Colossians chapter 3. Eso es de Colosenses capítulo 3. In Christ, en Cristo, we partake of the blessings of Abraham. Eh, Seguimos las costumbres de Abraham. That's the book of Galatians. Ese es el libro de Gálatas. Okay. The old has passed away. What was passed away? Lo viejo ya pasó. ¿Qué es lo que ha pasado? The law passed away. La ley Just ya pasó. like Abraham came to God the Father by faith. Así como Abraham vino a Dios por la fe Those who come to Jesus come through faith Aquellos que vienen a Jesús vienen por la fe By faith you receive the spirit of God Por la fe ustedes reciben el espíritu de Dios And it's the law of love the law of liberty in the kingdom of God it's freedom by the spirit Yes y es la ley de, del amor de la libertad de lo que está en el reino de los cielos el espíritu You guys don't have to tithe 10%. You can tithe whatever. You can give. You don't have to call it tithing. It's giving. You can call it whatever you want. Ustedes no tienen que hacer un diezmo o el 10%. Ustedes solo pueden dar. Lo pueden llamar como quieran. But those of faith do pero, give. Pero aquellos que tienen fe dan. Okay? You don't give sparingly. You give bountifully. Ustedes no lo dan porque sí. Lo dan en abundancia. Okay. This is... But people were asking, and I want to make it clear that if you want to give and support us, we do. This is how we, you know, our ministry, what we do in ministry. 
esto es lo que hacemos en el ministerio y no le estamos preguntando, pero hay gente que ya nos ha preguntado en dónde agarrar. Sí, es, con estas donaciones es que compramos e e equipos baratos. Right. right now we need new uh, computers. Ahora necesitamos computadoras. Equipment. Equipos. We need a lot of stuff in order to do varias cosas para hacer what it is that God is telling us to lo do. Que Dios nos está a hacer. So you can give and support Así es que what si we're doing. Nos pueden, eh, pueden dar, eh, ofrendas, eh, para lo que estamos haciendo. We're going to be here on here every Sunday. Vamos a estar aquí cada domingo. We're going to be doing Bible studies every day. Vamos a estar haciendo de Bible, de we're going to be teaching solid doctrine. Vamos a enseñarles eh, evangelio y doctrinas sólidas. So we're going to be doing the things that will help you grow. Vamos a hacer las cosas que les ayudará a crecer a cada uno de ustedes. So to answer your questions, yes, you can support. Así que para responder su pregunta, claro que sí que nos pueden apoyar. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, any questions, bueno, mom? alguna I just tell them that our we are the bride.us site is down for them to donate. They'll have to go through Go Tree House right now. Oh, by the so way, we're rebuilding the site. Yeah, as soon as we get off here, all day today, tomorrow, we have to. Um, we're going to be working on our website. So we have to finish putting up the new website and everything, guys. When that's all up, you'll have more opportunity to give, and we'll set up a, a time. Okay, E S. Yes, thank you, Laura. Um, we need to E S. You need to email us, and we can do some zooms, and we can pray and minister to your son. I can minister to them directly. Well, they're saying that they're having a hard time understanding her interpreting for you while you're preaching because she was saying that they have a their mind where they had a concussion. Is this ES? Yeah. Okay. So the All right, ES, we're going to pray for you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, ES, Father God, we lift up ES and his son, or their son Solomon. Right now, Father, we thank you that you have died on the cross and made deliverance available to them. So right now, ES and Solomon, in Jesus' name. Right now, we speak to your life. We command Satan, you go from their life. We forbid you to touch them. We forbid you to be in them. You go. Come out right now. Come out. Go in the name of Jesus right now. Right now. Go. Go in Jesus' name. We speak freedom. We command you to be free right now. Now we speak to your body. We command your body to be healed. We command that brain and that body to work and work properly to be healed right now. Receive your healing and be healed now in Jesus' name. Be free. Be completely healed right now in the name of Jesus. We command your body to do, to hear, see, to feel, to think, and do everything properly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, guys, thank you for what we're um, reformatting everything, new websites, everything, the YouTube channels. We're trying to get everything structured so that we can do this at a much um, larger scale. OK, there's a lot of demand and we just had to restructure and do it properly. OK, so we'll do that. That's OK. Next week we'll go and it'll be even better every time we're going to work on Zoom and make. Well, we've been doing Zoom every day and it works. But today. Just decided Estamos not to allow us to work. Páginas web para que a la próxima todos puedan eh, entrar y ser más interactivo. They're asking if we're still doing the Bible study in the morning on the farm, gentlemen. Yeah, we're going to do multiple Bible studies, man. You, me, well, I do it all. We can do it. Well, tell them what we do. Do we do the morning Bible studies and then yours? Just um. In the morning. 
So we are, we every morning we're doing a Bible study. Sometimes we'll do one Bible study or mom's out doing um, her Bible study. And then I'll do another one. That's just doctrine, straight Bible. Uh, sometimes we'll do it together. Um, sometimes we'll do it separate. So um, just hang tight. And yes, we'll do Bible studies pretty much every day. Every now and then we have a family event and we have to love on our family. So other than that, thank you guys. Thank you for your time. And um, y'all be blessed. Thank you guys. God Bye, bless you all. God bless. Bye everyone. We love Bye. you. Thank you. God bless you. Don't forget you'll have to.